Welcome, welcome, everybody. It is Monday, August 8th, a beautiful summer day. It's H3 TV, and we are vibing out. We have such an action-packed show here today. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Sponsored by uh, HelloFresh and Stamps. HelloFresh, guys, are you looking for a stress-free summer? HelloFresh sends you foolproof step-by-step -step recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients to make mealtime a summer breeze. Get 16 free meals plus three gifts with code H3TV16. Oh, HelloFresh.com slash H3TV16. Use the code H3TV16. Thank you, thank you. HelloFresh, we love them. You know them. The Fupa Troopers all ride for HelloFresh. Thank you. All right, what a show uh, we've got today. You know, we had, geez, we had two... <clears throat> Do we have two interviews last week? Uh, well, there was the BFFs podcast. And, right. So and we had Friday. two guest episodes. We have like a week of uh, stories built up, man. And I am like ready to go. <clears throat> and as the title suggests, I know that I've been all peace and love lately, but today it's time for war. <laughs> Blow that horn. Blow it hard, baby. And just because I've softened on some of my, <clears throat> you know, just because I've softened in so on some people doesn't mean I've changed. Well, in a, well, I have changed. But only in some way. They, they deserve it. Right. It's more focused. Mm -hmm. These people have it coming big time. <laughs> Soldiers, <clears throat> man yourselves. We shall invade wikifeet.com. We shall visit, does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein man, via Google? We shall... Uh, we shall... Clash on the fields of Valhalla. Man yeah. the barricades. That's literal. That's quite literal. We shall clash on the fields of Valhalla. We shall cry at Pinocchio. Mm. Like Jordan Peterson. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. I've got so many beefs. So many axes to grind. You know, got one with Bobby Lee. I got one with A.B. Who's calling in. He's on vacation right now. He's calling in. A little bit. I got one with David Pork Boy, who I tried to bury the hatchet with, but now he's just straight lying to on me, bro. And I got receipts. That's right, David. <laughs> Mr. Pork. Ada Ross came for love, bro. And that's shit. I already that's... didn't dude, I already didn't like that little shit. It's on site. Pussy. Ninja is actually a... Uh, Ninja is dear and loved, so we're just going to give him a shout out. Shout out. Alex Jones lawsuit. I've been itching to talk about this. Holy shit. Actually, I'm here to support Tana Mo Mojo today, too. Riding for my new besties. So much to talk about, but first let's talk about, I would say bo behind Oliver, Bobby's probably the most hated person in my life. They're one and two, uh, close neck and neck. Look at this fuck. After the all, after everything with the Howie Mandel angles, <laughs> then Bobby Lee <clears throat> hit me with this shot. I mean, who does that? <laughs> who sh who sets this shot up like this? <laughs> <clears throat> and I just gotta say, <clears throat> if you go to Tiger Belly, their podcast, I've been trying. Is this the new one? Yeah. Um. Who does this? Look at their sh what what kind of like schizophrenic and I, you know not to demean our our uh, neurodivergent kings, but like who can look at all these shots? There's four different fucking shots. You ever heard of a live switcher? I don't. I have I have two eyes, not four, dude. Right? Back me up. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And that this shot definitely doesn't need to be there. This one on the bottom left, like who? We don't need this. <laughs> that adds nothing. No. And then look at this fucking guy. Look like Humpty Dumpty with the fucking eggs and with arms and legs, bro. About to take a spill. Dance the my horseman. 
my king's horse. Yeah, I've tried to put you back together yeah. again, but unfortunately, it's not successful. Can you believe this shit? Anyway. I kind of like it. You like that? It's kind I of a vibe. Too. I don't know. Dude, it's insane. Didn't we do that once where, on the yeah. show where we like kind of did it as a, as a gag where we had like a, a grid of all of good. the... Back all oh, of yeah. us in the yeah, crew. Yeah, I like. I, yeah, it's funny cool. as a joke, but not as a serious podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You have to have like split. You have to have like four different split personalities to watch this all at the same time. <laughs> you have to have three homings where everyone watches one box and then comes together right, and shares right. notes. I don't know. My Sumer brain kind of likes it. Sumer ADHD brain <laughs> loves it. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I watch all of them at once. Me too. This shot is unforgivable. So anyway, Bobby fucked me big time. <laughs> Hate him. This shot's been going around the internet. Funny. People have been actually unironically fat shaming me on Twitter for this. There was a tweet that has just like 30,000 likes of people are just fat shaming me. Like unironically. Shame. It's awesome. Shame. <clears throat> it's embarrassing for them. You're, yeah. like, in on the joke, too. Like, you know that... I posted the photo. Hero. I, I The only reason... <laughs> literally, I posted it. Yeah. That's why they have it. But, okay. That happens... That's something that happens, like, to me all the time. I post shit that makes me look dumb or fat or ugly or whatever, and then people go, Look at this fat, what ugly a idiot! What a fucking clown, L. L. Ah, he's L. so fat! Ratio you. Fat ugly, loser! Stupid. Yeah. Look, man, look, here's the deal. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, um, Joe. Even even our president is fat shaming. There's no time. There's no escape from it. Damn, our thumbnail goes hard today. <laughs> Shout out Cam. <laughs> Shout out Cam Grant. Shout out Cam Grant. Thank you for the donation. Shout out Cam Grant for the gifts. Shout out Cam Grant for the four gifted. Think of it a gifted. Think of it a gifted. Think anyway, gifted. um, Speaking of, well, here, we got a bunch of memes now, so if you eat your heart out. So they, here's me and Howie's, and then me and Bobby's. I mean, <laughs> which one's worse? This is why I don't do other people's podcasts. Ow. All right? <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yeah, and the title is, It's so <laughs> sweet and heartwarming to see Ethan taking Theodore on other podcasts. What do we do about it? It looks like I gained, like, 20 pounds, by the way, between <laughs> the weeks. Is it altered to, like... I got you got a little bit of Hassan head going on in this picture. Like your Cuz it's all distorted, bro. <laughs> it looks so tiny. The whole thing is fucking distorted and psychotic. <laughs> it's just not a flattering angle. You can't do your guests like that. By the way, since I guess I should mention just a little teaser for Thursday. We are going to get to the bottom of this. We're doing phrenology this Thursday on uh on leftovers, I got. Oh, dude, we, Hassan doesn't know. He's gonna know now, though. <laughs> yeah, I love. Well, that. we mentioned it. We said we, we were did. gonna do that on the left. So Hassan, so. my co-host for leftovers on Thursday, there's a meme about him having a tiny head. So we got, we got the official measuring tool. We're oh, gonna yeah. measure his dome. Yep. And get to the bottom of this, once and for all. But anyway, so me and Theodore. Uh, an elegant icon, but wait, that's edited, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck? You don't know. Yeah, I think it's edited. <laughs> you the can't tell. Well, I don't know, because... It is a crazy photo anyway. That's what I'm saying. It was all kind of crazy to begin with. Ethan looking real comfortable again on Tiger <laughs> Belly. And, well, they get the couch they gave me is so reclining. You yeah, can't even sit like, up on it. You can tell it's a, it's a deep couch. I was set up, dude. <laughs> well, does everybody look like that on his show? Can we look at some examples? Yeah, you want to you want to cross check it? Yeah, let's see. Here I am, uh, the creation of Ethan, of course. The two bad shots merging uh, to create. Uh, oh, that's sentient, powerful. A sentient mind, sentient beauty, full of mind. Oh my god. Oh, there's the egg. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah, just that, not funny. That's just too far. Does anyone yeah. know when Ela's dropping the sick Garfield collab? That's fucked up. Whoever made that, shame on you. Shame. I'm Wait. Just... Shame. You got something good, Dan? Get, oh my just, god, no! I just looked at a recent... Not the schizo cam. <laughs> can you add in my monitor as well, so that when I pull stuff up, that can just instantly be on there? Um... 
Here's a Yo! Guess. He set me up! <laughs> He's on a chair. He set me the fuck <laughs> up. Look how they have the same chair. They're on equal footing. Two equals. He puts my ass on the recliner with the freak angle. <laughs> oh my god, Bobby. That's Damn. what I'm saying. He... He's a close second to Oliver, but that man, that man is not, he's just a piece of shit, dude. So true. Um, anyway, let's keep going. Ethan on the set of Tiger, now that one's edited, right? I don't, well. That, that one has to be edited. I think it just is a little bit of lens distortion, maybe. Like Something like that, for sure. Here I am skateboarding. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, you for look it. fucking sick. Yeah, thank <laughs> you for that. Riding a dinosaur. Oh! That's too far, you guys. No, these are cool, man. These are compliments. Riding a fucking T-Rex. Actually, there was one moment on Tiger Belly that I'm super proud of. Maybe, can someone pull it? It's the one where, uh, it, the, the post is something like, Ethan can't help himself or something. Mm -hmm. We were talking about relationships, mm -hmm. and you know Bobby and Kalila broke up, and I burned them so fucking good. <laughs> so, I was Seems so good. a little mean, but I guess so was the angle. So, all right, so are we just doing the whole show this way, guys? Is this the? Is this you're missing an angle where you can see how fucking fat? I am. <laughs> That's the only thing. Here, I'll work on that. Yeah, can you add that, please? Yeah. We need a side profile, please. Yeah, Abby's not here. Just use his camera. Oh, thank you so much, too. AB said I could sit here for the week. I'm not stealing it. I'm not stealing Shout out it. Analia, who donated 100. Thank you, Queen. Treat yourself. Kings and Queens. <laughs> Giving back to the podcast that has helped me through an extremely hard past couple weeks. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad to be there uh, with you. We love you. Here's the clip. But I use that pain and suffering. I go, you know, watch this shit. This is what Bobby gets for this bullshit. Ready? No, no, I can't do this. I gotta, I will show them. Mm. I will show the world, mm -hmm. right, that this is legit. Mm -hmm. You know, something else though, I'll say to someone like that, because if I was single and struggling to find a significant other, which is really important in life, to feeling confident and fulfilled and healthy and stuff, um, like you used to have, oh, God, I don't know why I did that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you? See, do that. Why do you do that? It was so natural for you. Yeah, like why do you like? Stats because I felt like I, because I felt like that's what you were thinking, and so I, I wasn't thinking. I, I was like, I don't want him to think that I'm insulting him, and so then I do. Yeah, I had to take it. I took the chance, and I got him fucking good, and he deserves it. You know what it gives? I don't know why I said he was divorced. I don't know why I said he was divorced when you were at Howie's when you were talking about Ryan Kavanaugh. You were like, and he's divorced, oh, too. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because the reason I, by the way, I don't know if we ever talked about that. We did. Yeah, I was like, I, you can, I don't want to misspeak when it comes to, I don't know. But it's funny, the top comment is the intrusive thoughts one again, yeah. Kind of. But I use that pain and suffering, I go, you know, no, I can't do that. Yeah. Anyway, Bobby Lee, shame on you. God, I got this bug bite. It's killing me. Shame. Shame. By the way, also, what we talked about a lot in that podcast, something we've touched on on this show, is how I got Bobby Lee to go see a dermatologist because he had this big, gnarly... Oh, thanks, Dan. Here. <laughs> see, no, I don't even look close to as fat. I mean, I look fat because I, I am, I tried but... to find the least flattering angle, but you're right. It's it... not even close. <laughs> fat. <laughs> so whatever oh, that idiot had... <laughs> did to me. <laughs> Donut, okay. Here, I'll even try to make myself look all gnar as gnarly as possible. Not as bad. It's nope. pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so I got Bobby to go see a dermatologist to get this crazy-ass mole removed, and he was super pissed at me for wasting his time. But here, Bobby, so now check it out. Defending Ethan. So after watching the mole situation with Bobby and Ethan, I decided to finally get a mole removed from my back that I always thought looked weird because it was really dark. Never really thought about too much of it, honestly. After watching, I decided to get it removed and tested. Turns out it's melanoma in wow. stage zero. So caught it super early. 
just a friendly reminder for all the foot soldiers, please have your moles looked at. Mm. For any irregularities. Thank you, Ethan, for getting me to the doctor. You are more than welcome. You're a hero. Send that to Bobby, somebody, so he can fucking see that. <sighs> you know, I am the good guy. Anyway, that's, that is awesome. Uh, I'm glad that you did that. Everybody, check your moles. Um... You know, going off, last week we had some really bangers, by the way. We had the BFFFFs podcast, which I think everybody loved. Tana, Mike, Jeff. Jeff won over the hearts and minds of, or not, uh, my, people loved Tana and Jeff. Don't get me wrong. But Mike won over the hearts and minds. Isn't that right? I think he, he had the biggest swing in uh, audience perception. It's kind of funny because everybody's like, just assumes that he's just like a big old dumbass idiot because he's. I mean, I like, obviously, I'm, well, we're good with Mike now. <laughs> I'm besties with Mike. We're dogs. He's right. the homie, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah. dogs. He's the homie. But he is like a professional dick rider for Logan. Um, That's his job. Well, that is his job. But we love him. They've had their uh, trials and tribulations, have they not, though? Wasn't there, like, am I misremembering? Wasn't there a little window of time where the, the bromance had broken up? Actually, yeah, Mike was telling me about that. He, it was like, I think Mike said something about him on a different podcast that was interpreted to be. Yeah, it was. Mean. It was about the dress. About Harry Where Styles. Where did you come from? A B. A B. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I wanted to chime in. Yeah, it was about Harry Styles wearing a dress, and uh, Mike made a comment like Logan was just pandering to the audience, and it caused uh, a little beef. Yeah. And Logan got super pissed, and that's what I'm saying. He yeah. failed as a dick writer. He failed in that moment. He made his right. his boy look bad. Right, but I love that. I mean, I sh nothing good, nothing like your homie riding your dick. You know, we <laughs> there ain't that. nothing like your homie riding. We your love dick, that. Uh, welcome, AB. Extra special. Thank you. Glad to be a, here. I've got a beef to pick with you today, actually. Who the fuck yeah, is I AB? Heard. He, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, here's the original vote. Jeff was, you know, own, je commanding lead with 50 percent of all the votes. Tana. And second, and Mike wasn't even on the chart. I mean, he was just decimated. Even Banks got 7%. Right. And then by the end, look at the, or wait, no, this is middle. That was middle. By the end of it, oh, Jeff still won. He did win. It, Mike was in the lead at the very last minute. Jeff surpassed him in oh, votes. Okay. But it, it was neck and neck. Okay, well, shout out, Jeff. Yeah, I, I didn't want Jeff to lose that status. I just, he's, he's been through enough. Yeah. You know. So, uh, anyway, it was really fun. Glad you guys enjoyed that. It was nice to squash some beefs. There's more beefs I want to squash, too. There's more beefs I want to start today. So, <laughs> it, it works itself out. Yeah. My beef counter. Man, the barricades. <laughs> uh, also, did you guys enjoy the interview with uh, Blake Limon? The Google engineer who said uh, that Google created a sentient machine. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> I liked it. The thing is with that, uh, I was just, that whole sh story was so captivating. And the fact we were able to get him on and talk to him, I thought was very cool. Definitely. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I don't know if I was moved completely. I'm still skeptical, but I'll, that's fully with the knowledge that I don't have the technical know-how to really understand how these well, things work. But I did think that his wider point about uh, what sentience is uh, not really being something that's clearly defined um, took the, uh, the wind out of my hater sails quite a bit. Well, you know I what? I thought that was a very good point. I, I went into that, like, very skeptical mm -hmm. and I came out of it a lot less skeptical because at the end of the day it's like is something software is it sentient I mean it really just becomes a philosophical question right and 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 if something can imitate sentience close enough to make you even ask that question I mean it's it's functionally what's hard the, functionally to, what's the difference at exactly, that point it's kind yeah. of it's kind of hard to distinguish you know yeah I thought it was real cool, though. Glad you guys liked that one, too. Um, let's see. 
You want, well, A.B., since you're here, I, I guess I'll just, I got to confront you on this. <laughs> okay. Okay. There was this post on the subreddit. Mm -hmm. Sure you saw it. You probably uploaded it 500 times on your alts. No, I don't like when people do that stuff, but I do appreciate it. But I feel like it puts me in an awkward situation. It says, A.B.'s jokes are so fucking good, and they never fail to just fly by Ethan's head every single time. <laughs> I can't remember the last time Ethan got a joke from A.B. without explaining. A.B., the goat of quick and clever jokes. True. So, hmm. I just want to say, okay. Hmm. Now, are they saying I don't get his jokes, or like it's too high level for me? Well, to be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand uh, AB's humor. Right. So, AB humor. Kind of like Rick and Morty. AB, AB humor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to. First of all, AB is very funny. I agree. But the reason I don't fucking hear his jokes is because he sits like 20 feet away from me and he whispers it every goddamn time into the microphone so you guys can hear it perfectly. And I can't hear shit. I'm, I'm literally like 20 feet away. So, like, mm -hmm. I mean, really, it's AB's fault. You're saying it's a problem with the He whispers the it delivery. into the mic. You gotta project a little bit. <laughs> okay. I was gonna defend you. Now I'm thinking of changing it up. <laughs> I was gonna say it's Speak tough your for mind. your position to hear me because you have you're just hearing us mainly through the speaker because yeah, we're just talking normal into our mics. Also you got these lights on you, there's a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, I don't I don't, I don't take it personally. I know it's hard for you to hear. Take it personally, I mm. can't hear you. How are you gonna take that person? You're whispering into a microphone. I don't know. But that does beg the question if we need headphones or something. Because a lot goes on there and I ask what? A lot. Which is kind of annoying. You should always be able to hear me. It's a little curious. Well, you project. It's a little curious. Yeah. AB, AB never talks into his microphone directly. I'm just going to say that. Well, you know what? Yeah, Some can stuff we, maybe just I just want to know, can we find a way to blame AB is what I want to mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some of this stuff is just for the audience. Little little gags just for the audience. <laughs> yeah, but then everyone goes, Ethan's a fucking idiot in his well, head. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> he whispers into the mic. Yeah, he's trying to tell you guys a little joke. Does my mic sound bad right now? Sounds fine. Sounds fine. Perfectly oh, yeah. acceptable. Yeah. A little grainy, if I'm being honest. But maybe what we can do, I'm trying to think of solutions. But I'm not taking away from you. You are very funny, so I'll, I'll agree with them on I that. Think, I would love to hear your jokes. I would. I want to hear your jokes too, A.B. I think maybe just like every time you see me moving my mouth, if you could just give like a fake laugh or something. Just pretend so, that I heard it? Just pretend, yeah. <laughs> One of those. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what we could do is have a big old sign, right? And then somebody can translate it and put it on. I can have a button along with like my technical difficulties button. I can press Please it. Please laugh. Giant. Please clap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just AB said a joke button. <laughs> Please clap. Dude, people say, is Ethan just 40? I have good hearing. You guys, there's, there's literally, how much, how many feet is this? Let's find out. Yeah, Tan's going to measure yeah, it. Probably. Okay. AB goes like this. He's like, yeah, so anyway, that's pretty dumb. And you're like, oh, he yeah, whispers. I think, I think I'm realizing that maybe I, I shout. Do I shout? No, you're great. You project like a queen, dude. Oh, thank Fantastic you. Fantastic. I also, I talk fast. That may, that may contribute to, uh, to not hearing it well. Olivia, watch, no, watch no, eyes. you don't. There's active lasers. Okay, I'm watching. Oh, I'm you're looking a laser straight right? into the laser. Here, here, face forward. Okay. All right, from ear level. Yeah, that's dope. A fucking laser measurement. Also, I'm not 40, dude. 37. It is 15.47. I mean, come on. That's, Wait, that's Dan, how far, far am I? Dan, how far am I over here? Because I feel like I'm often forgotten about, too. But I, I understand that. I mean, Cam is, like, off, basically. I know. I'm, like, probably 30, 40. You have speakers over there, Cam? Speakers? So you can hear us? Are you uh, just yours headphones? We oh, you just do, fixed my headphones so I can hear it in live time before there was like a little uh, delay. What's what's the what's the measurement, Dan? Thirty-four point nine two, just hair shy of thirty-five feet. That's a long distance, boy. Yep, that's why. Yeah, so I don't know. I guess that's why most pod uh, most shows wear headphones, but I personally think it's refreshing and nice that we don't wear headphones. You know, we're present in the world. Oh, we all wear headphones. But anyway, A.B., you don't have to change. I'm just saying. Um, I will do a better job at projecting. No, no I you need to. I agree. You whisper I've those always sweet, had that problem. You whisper those sweet, beautiful jokes into the mic. Mm -hmm. 
AB's like this. He goes, anyway, that's what she said. But if I say God. it louder, do I have to explain every single one? Yes. You don't have to explain it if I hear you, AB. <laughs> you seem to be implying that the problem is that Ethan doesn't get your Yeah, joke. do you think that I don't? Is that the problem? Mm, I think it's half-half. You really think that your humor is too high level for me? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> not high level. I don't know. Maybe it's on my end. Maybe I'm just not funny. But sometimes I do have to explain. Hmm. There's a threat. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's not funny! AB, there's a thread here with 2,400 votes, people telling you you're funny. So you're going to sit here and be like, I'm not funny. That's why you don't understand it. You're humoring me. That's legit not funny. Like you said, nothing like the homies dick right. <laughs> you're not dick riding, you're dick biting. It's bullshit. <laughs> using too much teeth. <laughs> All right, get the fuck out of here. Go on vacation. Aren't you on vacation or something? I'm trying. I'm trying. I can't believe I've only been here for a couple days. The amount of drama going on here is crazy. Everyone's an Andrew Tate fan. It's fucking wild. Oh, oh my God. Uh, Wait, there's uh, Tate. Uh, it's Tater Tot City over there? I was literally, yeah, in a room in the basement. Full of friends yesterday. Everyone's a tater tot. Oh my! Shut God. the wait. Can we talk to them at some? Yeah, I want to probe a little bit. I want to meet. <laughs> I want to meet your buddies. Can I ask you a question? If you yeah. never met us, and you were friends with the same people, is there a chance you would be a tater tot? No, and that's what's so wild to me. I believe is like, it. it's because like my our families, like especially like my cousins, I've always been involved in like politics. Like my dad and my uncles, and it's always been like extreme left wing. Like you know, they've been always left leaning. So. It's wild to me that I feel like since COVID started, more of my hometown has started to go right. So there, your your boys over there are Jordan Peterson and Andrew Tate. That's scary. Yeah. Do you try wow. to engage them on that? Yeah, I, I feel like I'm equipped to a degree after hearing you and Dan mainly all the time. Uh, like yesterday, they were like, "Oh, this," you know, they were talking about what's like Andrew Tate could actually fight, and they were debating and showing like different like clips of his good fights. I go, you know, it's my favorite one, ironically. And I showed him the one of the video of him fucking up that girl. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, that's your idol right there. <laughs> oh, wow. and like, are you Ooh. sure that's him? I'm like, yeah, dude, that's, that's him. Oh. Yeah, it's not a question. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's him. He actually, he, he says it's him. So what yeah. do they think about that? They, well, they're like, after he's seen that, I have to rethink some stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. Oh, interesting. Got through a little At bit. At least they're receptive. Your girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hold out. Stay strong out there. Thank you. My the very funny, uh, gifted, incredibly <laughs> high level <laughs> AB, ladies and gentlemen. AB. AB cracking us up every day. He does. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I was trying to stir shit up there a little bit, but AB is very funny. He 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 gets me real good at least once an episode with Thank one of you, his. Man comments that you don't hear. I, I said that. Thank you, Dan. I'm sure and he's thank funny. You, Dan, for him. always understanding it, my jokes, too. It's funny. <laughs> Dude, that's so lame, bro, <laughs> that you're even going there. I'm gonna, every time I hear AB whisper a joke and I don't hear I'm going to start whispering back to him. <laughs> no, that's funny. I'll be like, that's really cool, AB. <laughs> and then you'll ask me what, and I'll be like, you don't understand anything I say, bro. I'll start projecting. <laughs> AB, AB humor. All right, thank you. You're very funny. We love you. Thank you. Actually, no offense to AB, uh, but can you move him off my TV? <laughs> it's just, it's all I can see. See ya. Yeah, I would like all to. All right, see. I'm gonna go now. Okay, right, bye. Have fun. See ya. Bye. Bye. See bye. you next week. See ya. Very funny AB, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the world famous. Uh, the Laugh Factory, known as. He's a one man show. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, by the way, I don't know why, but I can't see like subscribers and super chats on my chat log. Do you guys see it? I do. You don't see it at all? Mm -mm. You don't see the hundred dollar Canadian donation? Oh, maybe that was the one you shouted out earlier. No, I don't see anything. Treat yourselves, Weird. kings, queens, giving back the podcast. Help me through. Oh you yeah, you did refresh. read that one earlier. Somebody donated fifty dollars and said, "Please give this to oh. Olivia." 
gorgeous, no awesome, and we love her. Oh my gosh. Wait, thank okay, you. good, thank you. Somebody got to keep track of that. <laughs> uh, I think it has to do with ad block or something. Is that possible? Because I saw it when I refreshed and then it went away. Uh, like, I haven't updated it's there. on that laptop since our last show. So now I see it. Okay, now it's here. Okay. Shout out, Kings. Uh, Eric, $50 for gorgeous Olivia. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, moving on. Um, this is kind of interesting. Belle Delphine. We've talked about her a lot years ago on the show. Yeah, it's been a minute. But Daddy? she was a pretty hot topic for a minute, eh? Daddy? Um, well, she's got a new product on her website that was, sec I guess it was secretly added, or quietly added, I'll say. $100,000 for one night. What do you think, Zach? <laughs> Zach thought? Uh, <laughs> Worth it or no? Uh, I'm in a happy relationship. Right. right I don't right. know what you're talking about. Having said that, um, I do have a lot of FUPA coin. Oh. So maybe I can gift my FUPA coin to someone. You want to see if there's an, ex an equivalent exchange rate. Yeah. You know, I thought she says that you can have conversations or deep throat. Face it. <laughs> Oral. Give or receive. <laughs> Cross-state massage. Rimming. Receiving. Wait, domination mild and then domination severe. Yeah, those are two different menu items. Huh. But, I mean, the price is the same regardless, right? Yeah, it's just 100000 I guess You get a day with her, and you can do it. You can have the whole, the whole thing. Huh. I guess my question is, she says, uh, spend one night with me. You can keep it anonymous, or you can film the whole thing and do whatever you want with it. I'm curious. Do you what think anyone's going to buy that? I mean, she's kind of, in my opinion, she's kind of baiting, like, rich YouTubers. I'm curious what... hundred uh, thousand is a lot of money, though. What like, Love thinks about this. Love, would you partake? Uh, I mean, I was curious if she would be down to just play some games or something for 100k. Damn, bro. Fortnite? Yeah. Yo, let's play Fortnite. I feel like the opportunity to film it is that adds like a lot of value. That's what I'm so saying. Much. It's like a sex tape at that point, mm -hmm. right? Right. Like you could that person could like release it or something. You would make money. Well, she has yeah. sex on film now, so it's not like that. But if I, you're like somebody, yeah, famous, it's like huge fan has sex with yeah biggest crush or whatever. I feel like. So I don't know. I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, also, just water sports. Is that like, does that mean Wait, what? squirting or does that mean like jet skiing? I think both. Okay. She's up for, she's down for whatever. Jet ski <laughs> like right after. Yeah, so it's all on the menu. If anyone's out there looking. No, I thought this would be for sure. Like, I thought some people were going to buy this. But then I went to her gamer P because she's selling her P for $10,000. That's gross. <laughs> How dare you judge her? I mean, it's gross. I don't feel bad saying that. Why are you hating sex workers, Dan? I just feel like that's a biohazard. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's disgusting. Urine. It's fucking disgusting. Maybe I'll, I'm going to pee in my trash can down here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it won't open. Because it, it, just take the screen off for a minute, Ian. Yeah, fine. Thank you. I'm just trying to get to the page. Gamer girl pee. What's going on here? It won't load. <laughs> Too much traffic. Think so? so oh, you overload. might be right with us watching it live. Oh, well, there is that. I think we crashed her site. Okay, you can show it now. Yeah, but then I go, well, this gamer girl P has been on her website. It's one of one. Gnarlier the better. It's $10,000. And nobody's bought it. Jesus, so much. Is that a clear crap. jar? Yeah, that's clear. That's just some nice a homemade urine. urine. Damn. <laughs> so foul. 
I mean, if somebody wants to pay $10,000 for it, I, I have at it, I suppose. <laughs> it's like kombucha at this point. <laughs> right. With all the Fermented. cultures. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy. Probably has some health benefits. <laughs> for real, though. <laughs> I mean, there are people that drink fermented urine. Like, they're, they love that shit. Oh, my God. I sent you that, that yoga guy that's, like, all about pee drinking. Did you watch that? Yoga guy? I don't remember. No. Oh, my God. Let me see but there's like it. there's a whole like TikTok slash yeah he, he's culture. like a TikToker and he's like a, a a yoga dude and he's all he's all about the pee. It's just such an odd thing. They go they think that by drinking the urine they retaining the nutrients mm -hmm. and um, but then there's even people who take it even further and they'll pee in a jar and let it sit for like a month to age it and ferment it and then they drink and I mean this shit is like next level Ooh. foul. Can we get Dr. Ids to confirm that that's Yo. not <laughs> You want me to text him? <laughs> I'm down. Let's, let's ask, let's ask it. You retain nutrients from drinking your own urine. Is it sugar-free? Yes. Is it keto? Is it keto? Well, that's a good question. Well, let's ask Dr. Ids. Yeah. Um, <laughs> people say, uh, yeah, but they say urine is... It's unhealthy. Is, uh, what they say it's... Uh, Sanitary, or what is it when it doesn't have germs? Sterile. Well, people always say sterile. sterile. They always I say that. That's a lie, I think, yeah, I, I also think believe that's right. that that's not true. Well, let's find out. Is urine sterile? I think it's debunked. You actually despite the rumor, the bad things. This is despite the rumor, urine is not sterile. It has bacteria in it. Well, god damn it! <laughs> I've been drinking my old urine all this time. Somebody lied to me. I've been drinking the urine. But you know, if you're trying to retain your vitamins, just go, eat, just eat a healthy meal, bro. Just have a salad. What I've been chugging the water. <laughs> anyway, are you guys think that anyone's gonna buy this uh, this one night with Belle Delphine thing? I'm I'm kind of curious. Maybe. But like, seems like I I I don't know. The uh, pricing structure that is typical for like high end escorts and stuff like that, but one hundred thousand dollars seems like a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot. No, 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 I don't think, I don't think high end escorts cost anywhere near that. Yeah, actually, they can, it probably cost maybe for a high end escort. God, I don't know. Maybe like ten thousand for a really high end one for like the night. See that that sounds more in the ballpark to me, but. Uh, I don't know anybody in the audience that has uh, first-hand experience with high-end escorts, either Zach, either being one or nope. uh, hiring. <laughs> Just kidding. Let us know. Yeah. Um, well, that's real interesting. I'm curious to see if anything comes out of that. I just wonder. I was like, man, she's maybe some YouTubers are going to do this. But I says, what's the crossover between YouTubers who are big enough to be able to afford hundred thousand dollars on something like this? And who aren't worried about posting a sex tape with her? There can't be. It can't be that big of a pool, can it? Maybe there is. Somebody said twenty to fifty k for a high end uh, escort. So it's not that far off, I guess. Thank you to em uh, emo jalapeno for five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. People keep saying love audio. I don't know. Yeah, it's. We're aware. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, this is pretty interesting. What is Monero, by the way? Is that like the new like Silk Road uh, crypto? Monero? Yeah. Monero. Uh, I just looked it up. It's just another crypto coin. Uh, I don't. I don't know what makes it special or that anything. That crypto shit. It's <laughs> worth one hundred and sixty-seven dollars, though. So it's oh. not like one of the Time to penny invest. ones. Time to invest. Well, there you have it. Maybe we can pull our money for you, Zach, or something. Um, I'm okay. I'm in a relationship. Okay, I'm right, cool. Right, 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 right. Appreciate it, though, but I'm, All right. I'm very... You passed the test. Yes. Monero is untraceable. Basically, black market currency, said somebody in the chat. Okay, well, great. That's interesting. That seems uh, a little shady. <laughs> yeah, that's like the human trafficking uh, <laughs> crypto. The exclusive crypto of human trafficking. Mr. Beast would do it. Yo, he would. Someone said Mr. Beast would do it and just make her do a challenge. Oh, I had sex with Belle Delphine. 
I nutted inside Belle Delphine. <laughs> I paid a hundred thousand dollars. So thick. There you have it. Someone said send Gabe. Oh okay, now that would be fucking. Oh my god. Amazing. Is, there, is that a hundred thousand dollar? Oh man, Gabe would. <laughs> is that a hundred thousand dollar idea? Yo, I send so. Gabe. <laughs> That'd be really bomb. I do like I do like buying a pointlessly extravagant thing. For show. <laughs> I think you would make his life <laughs> as evidence of Dan sitting in the Scorpio. You were saying you are pr literally promoting a scam right now. Somebody says in the chat. How do you know it's a scam? I don't know. It's just you think she's gonna said. run off with a hundred thousand dollars? And it is a little weird that it's this untraceable currency that it's. Uh... But imagine Gabe's smile when we tell him. <laughs> You think it's a scam? I don't know. I don't think so. She's, she, she actually sells this shit, like the bathwater and all that, so... Where, I mean, where did you come across this website? When you guys sent it to me. Oh, I, I didn't. Who found it? Ian found it, I think. Uh, yeah, I saw one, it on Twitter. 100% a scam, not her website. Wait, that wasn't her website? I mean, Wait, I just what that people was... are saying in the chat. Seriously? Well, that's a fucking crazy ass scam, then. I mean, nobody's. I mean, they're not. Nobody's sending a hundred thousand like that. But because her website looks just like this, Belldelphine dot club. Wait, let's see if we can. Club. Well, hold on. Oh my god. In reality. Wait, guys! Anyone who's sending a hundred thousand, wait. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Shit! Oh Stop. no. Stop. <laughs> Don't send it yet. Can you guys confirm if it's her website? Because I can't actually find her official website when I type her name. <laughs> 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 the distant one. Well, anyway, kind of interesting, so there you have it. Yeah, maybe I'll send Gabe. Sell a sex tape with Gabe and Belle? How much do you think I could sell that for? Oh, somebody said, bro, I lost 100K. Sorry. No, Caleb. no, 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 no. Yo. <laughs> Caleb, no. <laughs> Shit. There was like 10 people that already sent 100K. <laughs> Wait, can you guys try to find out if that's her real website, though? I'm actually curious. So, yeah, that was good. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, by the way, shout out to Kathleen Lights, who is a beauty guru. And this by the way, I love that we call like beauty uh, people gurus. She's ascended. <laughs> yeah, but look look at this. This is so dope. Kathleen Light, shout out to the best. Shout one is out. Peace and Love. Shout out to the H3 podcast. I literally named this eyeshadow Peace and Love because not only is it like a 70s saying, but this is a serious message. Oh my gosh, if none of you guys listen to Ethan and Ela, like, or watch the H3 podcast, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But Peace and Love. <laughs> peace and Love. We I love this yes, I love it. Catherine Light. Peace and love. And may Peace I say, love. may I say that palette looks exquisite. Boy, look how vibrant those colors are. Beautiful. Oh my god. And the glitter toppers, insane. Forget it. Are you? Do you know her, by the way, Olivia? Yeah, I've been watching her since like. Oh. Beginning of high school. How nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is awesome. Peace and love. This is a serious message Thank you. to Kathleen Thank Light. You. I want to tell you, please. More palette names. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, getting into some juicy beef now. Trying to trying to ease you guys into it. Uh, we're actually at 44 minutes already. Okay. So maybe we should do our other ad, and then All right. beef it up. So, we have one ad, Stamps.com. Let's thank them, and then we'll get into all the juice, eh? Uh, thank you to Stamps... Dot com. Yes, we love stamps.com. Yes. Are you having to drop what you're doing to make a run to the post office? It's a major pain, especially when you have more important things to do. So stop mailing and shipping the hard way. Stamps.com is your 24-7 post office that you can access from anywhere. Skip the headache with stamps.com. Stamps.com saves you time and money and stress. 
For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Uh, Dan's lovely girlfriend, Ali, uses it. She does for her business. Loves it, yeah. She loves it. It's great. It's easy. No trips to the post office. Just print the postage right there. Bing, bam, boom. Yeah, Bob's your uncle. Boom, boom, bing, boom, boom. It's honestly this insane service because they give you a scale. You weigh it on the website. They print out the postage. You put it on there. And then here's the craziest part. They'll come pick it up. Or you, you can really put it in your post office. It, like, this is the future, my friends. Not only that, you get discounts. 30% off UPS, USPS rates and 86% off UPS. Let's go. That's the power of stamps.com. Whether you're sending invoices, Etsy shops, products, or warehouse, a big old warehouse shipping out stuff, mailing and shipping's a breeze. All you need is your regular computer and printer, no special supplies or equipment, plus stamps.com seamlessly works. Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, and more. You're up and running in minutes. Printing official posters for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send it. And you can send, you can even uh, sh- order shipping supplies through stamps.com too, including free priority mail envelopes. Nice. Guys, don't mail and ship the hard way. Sign up at stamps.com today. Sign up at stamps.com slash H3TV for a special offer that includes a four week trial. Plus, free postage and a digital scale. There is no long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com slash H3TV. Thank you, thank you. With peace and love. This is a serious message. Okay. Okay, take me places, Zach. Let's keep it going. Why not? Okay. Okay. Where are we going? Wow. All right. You can, yeah, you can, you can, yeah. Thank you. What a bop. All right. So first of all, you know, this, dude, there's crazy thriller updates. Apparently, Cav Cav, like, screwed over a bunch of black creators. Uh, we are working on interviewing them for Wednesday, so that'll be fun. But one of my, my other guy, uh, Keemstar, shut up, bitch. That's what he's, that's what, the, yeah, play the sound bite so they know. Yeah. Keemstar, shut up. Yeah. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> Dude, how do you not leave the internet after that? I think after you get bitched out like that publicly. What was that dude's name? The Greek billionaire? Elkie David. Yeah. Is he a car- You know about that guy, Cam? I know. Yeah, he's a piece of shit, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah. I mean. Dog eat yeah, dog. But he top dogged uh, the other piece of shit, so. <laughs> yeah, so apparently. So this, this is kind of crazy. Keemstar is on Snapchat trying to destroy my life, basically. He's not posting it on YouTube because I think I think he thinks that he'll get in trouble if he talks about me. What's funny is I don't care if he does. Like, I don't snitch. I don't tell YouTube. I don't do anything. Uh, but if he goes on Snapchat, he can say whatever he wants about me. What's interesting about this is that I was contacted... Uh, by somebody and told that there was a lot of reports coming through about our show talking about Keemstar and that we had to tr- tread lightly. Hmm. What? What happened? So, yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy and weird? Somebody's told Being me reported to... directly to YouTube. Yes. Like, not just, ah. like, flagging the video the normal way. No, no, way, no. No, he went... But, like, using contacts within the company yes to report people trying to get our channel in trouble yeah interesting i know i thought i have what this they've recollection said about of a lot of criticism yeah. in the past about you uh indeed Susan. Hmm. yeah so i think his master plan is basically that he's trying to bait me into responding 
so that he can try to get me like the second community strike because we have one currently for saying be the B word. Don't need to reiterate. Yeah. Don't don't actually need to. <laughs> well, I just want to remind the people. When does that? I, when I does said that B expire? word. Uh, where everyone comes together and talks about their cool toys. <laughs> Were you saying something, Cam? When does that first strike expire? It's coming up, boy. Okay. It's, it's coming. It's, it's right coming. around the corner. Don't you worry. Right uh -oh. around the corner. Let's go. <laughs> we should get a countdown going. <laughs> yeah. That's like a challenge to all of the haters out there. True. Yeah. Never mind. <clears throat> yeah. So Keemstar thinks he's like clever. I can't tell you guys how pathetic this man is. Um, <coughs> so he's on Snapchat trying to bait me into talking about him so that he can report me to YouTube again for bullying him. And this is a 40-year-old man who's reporting people to YouTube for bullying. And somehow I'm a snitch? Come on. But listen to the kind of shit he says about me. He's accusing Teddy Fresh of... <coughs> horrible shit, right? On Snapchat. Um, here it is. And obviously I have to respond to this. And I was just like, I told, listen, I talk to people, I have a person, he has a person, it's normal for big creators. At a certain point though, he's going to have to lose that connect. I mean, his channel, I mean, his, he's not even active on YouTube anymore. He hasn't even not uploaded in three weeks. Oh. He goes, if I can't talk shit about Ethan... Then I'm not posting anymore. <laughs> I'll show him. Well, he posted he left a barbecue in a hurry to go to report on uh, someone and following someone. <laughs> right. I think it was Char Charlie D'Amelio unfollowing Lil Huddy or some shit. Oh, he, he dropped everything. That's yeah. big news, though. That, he got roasted so good on Twitter. It was like, had like 200,000 likes. We're like, dude, you're 40 years old. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I told YouTube. I was like, listen. If Keemstar is saying this shit about me, even if it's not on YouTube, like, I have to respond. Because he's saying Teddy Fresh basically plagiarizes everything and is stealing designs and all this shit, right? And they, this is a thing that him and his henchmen keep trying to put out in the world. They're posting it to subreddits and trying to make Twitter threads and trying to bait other commentary channels to make videos about it. So this is like a whole big project of his. Um, it's crazy. People don't realize what this guy's actually up to. I'm not kidding. This is all real. By the way, this is the tweet I was talking about. Char this guy, uh, he ran home from a barbecue to tweet this. Charlie D'Amelio just unfollowed little Huddy. It's going down. <laughs> <laughs> and Brandon said a 40-year-old man tweeted this. Hashtag drama alert. The problem with drama alert, it was a good idea at first, but you do age out of it. I mean, at 40, you know, you kind of age out of it. It's not an evergreen idea. I feel very foolish. Sure. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> anyway, here's what he posted on Snapchat. Roll it. The H3H3 podcast co-hosts Gila and Ethan Klein are under fire. Now, this podcast criticizes other people in the community, and these two recently have been criticized against their clothes. Bro, just the production of this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy ass, like, Inception music. Also, he goes, they're under fire. Watch. He literally pulls a tweet from some account with, like, 300 likes that he probably... Influenced to or just outright like paid them to post that shit because you know that's what he does he's literally he'll have someone else do it and then report on it so he has no accountability he does that all the time this guy is so slimy Anyway, here it is. Without further ado. Clothing brand Teddy Fresh for allegedly stealing designs. Let's read the thread. Wait, Teddy Fresh, a clothing brand by... What's, what's going on with the setup? What'd there? you say? Oh, what's, what's, what's with the roll, setup? Roll it back a little bit. Why is he in a bar? He's in a bar. <laughs> he's got... He's got... By the a, way, let me just say this before we mic. proceed. No comments on his intrinsic characteristics. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, no. that's the rule. I just... Uh, he, he's at a bar, he's got a broadcast mic and headphones on, but he seems to be recording on a cell phone. Is that right? Oh my god, you're right! That Isn't doesn't that make any sense. Wait, is he... 
<laughs> is he just he, set that up so it looks official? I, think, I, don't, I don't know what the goal is. And but. why in a bar, and man? Uh, you're making ch content for kids, and you're in a bar. What is, is this meant to make you look cool that there's alcohol behind you? I mean, it's his basement bar, right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. We yeah, saw yeah. in his house. I recognize tour. that place. The, the Keemstar <laughs> Fousey movie. <laughs> Ripped to the goat, by the way. That got taken down. So what, sad. What did? The Keemstar Fousey feature film. Oh, that yeah. We, Spent a whole episode it reacting like to. Jerky. They privated it. It's Tastes so like sad. Beef jerky, man. I think it was a masterpiece. Anyway, here he goes. So I'm pretty sure you're right. He has a unplugged mic and headphones, <laughs> and he's just holding the phone. Isn't that interesting? Well, That's weird. super cool. On the community, and these two. Oh my God, you're right, Dan. Have been criticized against their clothing brand, Teddy Fresh, for allegedly stealing designs. They just, he's trying so hard. Do you guys see how he's trying so hard to make this a thing? And he only posted it to Snapchat. Do you guys see that the, the audio is slightly delayed? Or it lo almost looks dubbed. Is that right? From my I'm, point of view. Yeah. So see. I actually think he recorded it on the mic and I, then tried to overlap it. And then overlap it with his it. cell phone footage? Maybe. Yeah, but he didn't, he didn't do it perfectly, I think. <laughs> you know, it doesn't look dubbed to me. Let me, let me watch. Maybe it's and the these two. Oh, it is a little. There's a little. I see that. A little bit. Yeah. But that would be too hard, right, to do that? That'd be kind of crazy. Because the audio is pretty good. So I think he actually... So you think the mic... The mic might be... He might have done... Got the audio track and merged it with the yeah. video. Okay. But I think he fucked up a little bit. Yeah, it's a little off. You're right. <laughs> You're right, man. It's a little delayed. Wow. Who would have thought that the, this production from his basement bar wouldn't have been perfect? <laughs> <laughs> so frustrating! I know, buddy. Just next time, be a little more careful with the sink. There's tools that can help you with that Sorry. in Adobe. Who recently <laughs> have been criticized against their clothing brand, Teddy Fresh, for allegedly stealing designs. Let's read the thread. Teddy Fresh, a clothing yeah, brand. Yeah, again, this was some post by, uh, I don't know, it had like almost no likes. It was like, the only person that saw it was Keemstar. Okay, bitch. He, he's like friends. Uh, they, they, there you got you 14 likes. He's like, they're under fire from this account with 14 likes. Really, dude? And you're making a whole video about it? Okay, let's watch. And by Ethan and Gila Klein might have been stealing designs for years. A Teddy Fresh shirt, bottom, an original vintage shirt, a bear, the exact copy and paste. And if you look close, that is the same bear. Are they just taking this? But the thread keeps going, people. That's right, Capella's Dangerous Hunt, P <laughs> PS3 video game on top, Teddy Fresh t-shirt on the bike. It's the same bear. What is this? What is going Are they really just taking designs? Are they stealing them? And the thread keeps going, people. Now, I, I know this story. This happened a couple months ago because H3H3's own fans were exposing him for stealing a dino shirt. A sweater pattern from 1992. A First of all. Okay, well, I'm just going to let it finish, and then I'll go back and address everything. Dino design from a sewing book on the top, and on the bottom, a Teddy Fresh sweater. And apparently, Ethan Klein even admitted that this was stolen by, you know, an employee that they fired. But the thread keeps going, people. Top, vintage teddy bear design found on Etsy. Bottom, Teddy Fresh. Boy, that's like the same thing. I'm noticing a pattern here, people. And speaking about patterns, continuing on the thread, look at this. Look at this. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. The blue flames. It's the same thing. Top vintage design found on Epsi. Bottom Teddy Fresh. Epsi? Unreal. Is Teddy Fresh just like stealing on designs Epsi. from everyone? Now recently, Teddy Fresh came out with this Elon Musk with devil horns type of thing. It's like black and white and then only the red is shown, right? Well, that is another t-shirt design Stolen from like instant. What? What is this? Yeah, I mean, it seems like somebody is trying to hide this information from getting out. But ladies and gentlemen, I again, no, I'm literally showing it for everybody because I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to create a story. Nobody's hiding it. This isn't even a story. You created out of thin air, under the guise of some other dude that you had tweeted out. And uh, I'm not hiding shit, bro. You idiot. I want to know what you think. <laughs> Hit me up on Twitter with your thoughts. My Twitter is at Keemstar. And that is it for the news. Make sure you subscribe here because you know as soon as I get the scoop. That's it I'm for the news. Yeah, yeah, that's so all the news I've that never, happened that day. I've yeah. never heard of that website, Epsi. 
Epsi. Yeah, they make <laughs> Epstein salt. <laughs> they sell salt, I think. What is Epsi? Epsi. Oopsie, Epsi. You know, you could tell how hard he's Amazing trying. Climb. And I feel like he put a lot of work into this, you know? He put a lot of work into this, and he's Four just years. He's trying so hard. And the thing about Teddy Fresh, I think he's so bitter and jealous about Teddy Fresh because it's successful in its own right, and there's really nothing shady going on with Teddy Fresh. And he's so desperate to hurt me in any way he can. He tried lying about me. He's tried ruining my YouTube channel, uh, and that, that hasn't worked. Uh, so he's now going after my wife and her company. And, like, he didn't post this on YouTube, just Snapchat. Don't you find that interesting? Because he knows he can't be reporting, he can't be complaining to YouTube that I'm bullying him and then posting shit like this. So he posted on Snapchat. But, of course, I'm going to defend myself against accusations like this. It's not bullying if you fucking, <laughs> if you provoked me. But let's say, let's go back, okay, to, and let's take these on uh, head on. I mean, this is my wife's company we're talking about here. And by the way, over my wife. I mean, give me a break, bro. I mean, I would never go after your girlfriend. Knock it over my wife. There it is. I mean, she's only. I mean, I would never go after a child. Yeah. You know, she. she I wouldn't do that. Yeah. No, you shouldn't. It's too far. Anyway, let's take. By the way, I want to say at the top, okay. I mean, at this point, Teddy Fresh has been in business for five years, and each collection, each month, we drop a lot of coll of clothes. I mean, we have a lot of designers. We have, like, again, there's, like, about 40 people there, full-time employees, and we've probably made, like, close to 1,000, maybe 1,000 products by now. Damn. Okay. And if he only found, like, maybe eight things that he could try to accuse us of stealing. So, like, per capita, right off the bat, you're talking about a company with 40 employees that's made thousands of designs. So let's, let's, ta let's talk about this. Let's read the thread. Teddy Fresh, a clothing brand by Ethan and Gila Klein, might have been stealing designs for years. A Teddy Fresh shirt, bottom, an original vintage shirt, a bear, the exact copy and paste. And if you look close, that is the same bear. Are they just taking this? But the thread keeps going. Yeah, so the the one hilarious thing that they're trying to get us on is like sometimes designers just license graphics from a because it's really hard to create custom graphics all the time. And it's very normal for clothing brands, streetwear brands to license an image and start from that. And it, it's just, it's incredible because they're so desperate again to try to fuck with my life that they're, it's like, dude, it's a licensed graphic, you fucking idiot. Like, it's just not that deep. Um, it's really not. Sometimes, Keemstar, things aren't that fucking deep. Thank you, Bang. Wow. Back me up, BFF shit. I told you he was BFF material. Did he steal this? By the way, I love that he considers himself a journalist. Did he steal this design? <laughs> does he really? I mean, does he I think he does, a, actually, a sadly. I really, I think he does fancy himself as some kind of journalist, which is kind of nuts. Uh, thank you, Dylan, for 10 gifted subs. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for the 10 gifted. Me. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the gifted. Cat meat, thank you for the gifted. 10 and 5 gifted. Cat meat, thank you for the gifted. Uh, for your end, sorry, your name is so hard to pronounce. Uh, but thanks for the 20. You said, what is the logo on Kim's shirt? Looks ripped off from Nirvana. Oh, shit, girl. That's an interesting observation. Is it? Yo, that's his punch, is his boxing promotion thing. He stole that from Nirvana, dude. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Type happy face with one XI. Here, it's... Pull it up. Now, the Nirvana one has two Xs. Here's a good side-by-side. Dude, by side. he completely ripped that off. Oh, my God. This is my... Oh, my God, you guys. This is crazy. Are they just stealing it? What the hell? This is nuts. 
I've been, we caught him red-handed. I've been seeing I've been seeing a lot of reports about this in uh, in our <laughs> Discord channel. Breaking news! Breaking Keemstar news! Star is trying to hide this. Uh, is he stealing designs? Breaking. The happy face is clearly the same. Keemstar, uh, we need an answer from you. By the way, breaking news! Shocking news. Uh, can you? I bet you can find this. I don't think they made this. I bet this is like a licensed image. The face. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be. Breaking news. Keemstar is stealing it. He's stealing it. <laughs> but I mean, this is this is the level of you know journalism that's going into this. Like it's so it's so absurd. And then there's this one. Oh my god, you guys. This this is unbelievable, what I'm seeing. I mean, this is a direct ripoff. I'm just, I can't believe the balls on this guy. I mean, the, the guys, what are we going to do about it? Is this COVID related? Ow. <laughs> so anyway, let's continue. So there's that one. Let's read the threat. Teddy Fresh, a clothing brand by Ethan and Gila Klein, might have been stealing designs <laughs> Wait, how are we back here again? for years. The exact copy and paste. And if you look close... That is the same bear. Are they just taking this? But the thread keeps going, people. That's right. Capella's date. This is a licensed image. But honestly, it's Wait. so different, too. Like, even making the accusation is kind of insane. It may not even be a licensed image. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But, like, it's a video game cover. And this also, is yeah, completely different. The bear's from a completely different angle. It's hard to tell. Yeah, you're right. You can see more of. You see, it's more front facing. Yeah, but even, than the but it, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the, this is a reference. This is a. Yeah. I think this. They're actually using a licensed image, on the front of their video game. But we, we actually changed it quite a bit. So it's even, even licensing aside, it's quite a stretch. Again, thousands, thousand designs over five years, and this is the best he has. Dangerous hunt. P PS3 video game on top. Teddy Fresh t-shirt on the bike. It's the same bear. <laughs> it's the same shirt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the same shirt as a PS3 bear. <laughs> I can't believe it. We got him, folks. Shut it down. Kurt Cobain would like a word with you. Someone says, uh, Megan said, I hope you're not stressing too much, Ethan. We're noticing your tics are more. Uh, also, sign up, please talk about deaf noodles. I don't want to talk about that. First of all, thank you. I'm okay. You know, one of the causes for the more Tourette's could be the Wellbutrin I started. I don't know. But yeah, it, it has been more lately, which is annoying, but it's fine. I can deal with it. Um, the other thing is... I don't want to talk about deaf noodles, you know. The dude's been getting, like, absolutely dogpiled by everybody. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So let's continue this. What is this? What is going... Are they really just taking designs? Are they, are they really just taking designs? Stealing them? Are they stealing, stealing them? them? Listen to the super chat uh, from Mermaid. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, senior graphic designer for a major apparel company here. This is all extremely normal in the industry. Exactly. Much love to you and TF. Thank team. you. Stay losing. Thank, thank you. you. That's a, you thank know, you First of all, thank you for that message because it's hard to convey. Like, there is norms in the industry that everybody knows. And, like, when you're outside, like Keemstar, that's like looking at everything we do under a microscope, these things that are quite literally, uh, you know, business norms. This, this is what happens in every design room for every, every you know, fashion company in the world. I've, I've heard that Supreme, they have a massive warehouse full of vintage clothes. And when they're going to design, they basically just walk through and like, pick out vintage items and basically just rip it off more or less 
And that's kind of the cycle of things. It's, it's, it's what it is. I mean, a lot of these companies, too, have such a set list of assets you can get, and they're very strict on how much you can manipulate them, too. So, I don't know. Oh, you're saying the license holder. Yeah, the licensing. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, but there's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's like, it's, it's just nuts. People, now, I, I know this story. This happened a couple months ago because h 3 h 3s own fans were exposing him for stealing a dino shirt, a sweater. I mean, this is such old news. We're like bros with this guy now. We have a partnership with him. We pay him. And we're actually making more stuff together. Hey, nice. Yeah, we have a really cool uh, another sweater That's coming out of his sweater designs. It's, they're so dope. It's a cat. And a dog wearing a turtleneck sweater on a sweater. So fucking dope. Sweaterception. Gary Kennedy, shout out. So yeah, dude, really uh, breaking news here, buddy. <laughs> you know, again, thousands of designs, and he's rehashing this old buried shit that's been done forever. Pattern from 1990. Oh, wow. Thank you to Blue Phoenix Productions. Lots of goofs going on right now, but I wanted to say how great you guys are. Every podcast... Makes me my day. Thank you guys for the endless laughs. And thank you for watching. And I'm so happy to be with you guys four times a week. That's the dream. One day, five. One day. But until then. Yeah, shout out Gary Kennedy. He's the one who made this design. To a dino design from a sewing book on the top and on the bottom. A Teddy Fresh sweater. And apparently Ethan Klein even admitted that this was stolen by, you know, an employee that they fired. But the thread keeps... Is he trying to be like, you know, an employee? Trying to make it seem like it was us? He's like, you know, an employee? Whatever. Going, people. Top vintage teddy bear design found on Etsy. Bottom Teddy Fresh. Boy, that's like this. To be honest, I can't tell what's going on here if it's the same or not. But I will say um, about this one again. I can't tell if it's if it's the same. It's possible that it's a fabric uh, that we bought, but it's also possible. The thing is, like, there is an industry standard for when you buy really, really old vintage stuff that's like a one-off that like doesn't exist anywhere and it's years old. It's like public domain it is there there is like a weird thing but people it's kind of like fair game i feel like if you discover like a one-off weird thing that's like forgotten to the annals of history um you shouldn't copy it uh directly though i mean that's obviously shouldn't do that i can't tell though this one's too small i can't see the i can't even tell if they're identical or it may have been the same fabric or it may have just been a vintage piece i don't know same thing i'm noticing a pattern here people and speaking about patterns can if it was the same why didn't you get a closer pick you could you know what i mean you could well it's for a snapchat show so it's only ever going to be uh but this one could be closer on screen. yeah <laughs> okay I'm noticing a pattern here, people. And speaking about patterns, continuing on the thread. Look at this. This is this one's my favorite. This is a fucking fabric, you moron. We bought the same fabric, you dumb, disease-brained, fucking idiot. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's this. It's so sometimes people manufacture uh, really cool fabrics, and you speak with certain. You know, you have like fab textile vendors or people you work with, and you say. You know, send us some really cool fabrics you have right now. And they'll send samples, and you go, dang, that's awesome. I want to use that. And so uh, clearly, they like the same pattern, uh, the same fabric as us. And that's all that happened. So shout the fuck out, Keemstar. Sorry. Who, who, who <laughs> is getting an education. This one, I will admit, is too, a little too close for comfort. I don't know what happened with this one. Uh, to be honest. Do we know where the sweater from the left... Oh, yeah, Prada. it's Prada. I recognize that sweater. It's a Prada sweater with the flames. I mean, this one's on a hoodie. Yeah, I mean, this, this one's a little sus, I agree. I'm not sure what happened here. Yeah, that's probably maybe the only one that I that he could 
call me out on that I can probably look a little deeper into. Look at this. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. The blue flames. It's the same thing. Top vintage design. Did he said blue. blue. Yeah, he said That's blue. It's blue. clearly green, right? That's not blue. I don't want to be. I just I don't want to be like a color ableist, but maybe a. Um, I... my mom is colorblind. I think you might be colorblind, Kim. Hmm. Well, you could be. You could do a color test anyway. These you know, color. have changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> color blindness is more common in men. Yeah, my mom oh. mixes up green and blue and oh, really? brown and red. Interesting. Yeah. Flames. It's the same thing. Top vintage it's design found thing. on Epsi. Bottom Teddy. Fr yeah, this is. This is what I was saying. This is like a super old vintage design that's like erased from the annals annals of history. And I mean, it's different. The colors are different and stuff too. So I don't. I don't really see the problem in this case. It's just a T-shirt. Fresh. Unreal! Is Teddy Fresh just like stealing designs from everyone? Now recently. Everyone? <laughs> e Teddy Fresh came out with this Elon Musk with devil horns type of thing. It's like black and white and then only the red is shown, right? Well, that is another t shirt. So I made this, this design. Is... I've n I never seen this in my life. And, and this I mean, is by far the biggest stretch. Even. I, I just, I don't even know. Because, like, obviously, this is like a trope, right? With the red of course. brand and the horns and shit. So I don't know anything about this shirt. I designed this shirt. I've never well, that, seen that one. That first one is a black and white photograph with drawing over it. Right. And this one is a doodle. Yeah, but if you Google red horns and crayon, you'll find that the whole internet is plagiarizing <laughs> each other. It's crazy. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, so this is just a, obviously like a major stretch here. Right? Well, that is another t-shirt design stolen from like Insta- what, what is this? Yeah, I mean, it <laughs> seems like somebody is trying to hide this information from getting out, but ladies and gentlemen- I don't- I and that, 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 the final insinuation that we're somehow Someone's bearing crying. this, uh, extorting people, going to, and so what he obviously he's trying to turn this into a thing, right? And this is what he does. And the thing is, may, some of you guys don't like when I talk about Keemstar so much, but I have to address these things before they snowball. And that's what happened when he accused me of stealing money for our first lawsuit. I just ignored, ignored, ignored. I was trying not to talk about Keemstar at all, and it actually almost ruined my life, which is kind of crazy. So he he actually goes so low. Uh, that when I almost, he almost ruined my life and I had to really come back hard on him. And that's when people left me alone on that issue and decided that I wasn't a scammer. And that's what he's trying to do here. It's hard to explain just what a existential threat this guy is to people he hates. And that's why I talk about him so much is because... He thrives on bullying people and like destroying people's lives. And I'm his, I, he hates me more than anyone. So as you can see, he's trying to do it still. And on top of that, it's like the meta bait where he's doing it on Snapchat only to bait me to talk about him so he can report me to YouTube. He's trying to get me banned on YouTube. It's crazy, right? I mean, it's like this man thinks about, he really thinks about me all the time. <laughs> Yeah, I just, uh, as Lynn, Lydia said, I just hope David's okay. Oh, true. <laughs> Thank you, Lydia, for bringing us back to Earth there. I'm just worried about David. Hmm. Olivia. I said Lydia. Oh, Lydia. Lydia. <laughs> I heard you. But anyway, you know, uh, so that's Keemstar trying to ruin my life. Uh, just another day, another dollar. <laughs> I want to know what you think. Hit me up on Twitter with your thoughts. My Twitter is at Keemstar. And that is it for the news. Make sure yeah, Cam, you have a good point. Cam said he might just be embarrassed by his YouTube views. I think you're right to a degree. But I also think he's trying to bait me. Dude, this thumbnail goes so fucking hard, Cam. Thank you. But we are going to war. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't uploaded in four weeks, dude. He can't get half a million anymore. Yeah, it's like, so, I mean... I think the last time he got a million was when he uh, clickbaited that he was retiring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor Keem. Yo, look at the bottom left. 
He never fixed it. Which one? The Hassan. Oh, racist? <laughs> yeah, you're right. We, we, gave, we tipped you off, bro. It says racist. <laughs> you misspelled it. He must get like 10,000 views on his Snapchat show. Though. That's what I was wondering. Is there a way to see how many views Snapchat stuff gets? I don't think it's public. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I agree. I don't think a lot of people saw it because this sh- I didn't even see this float to my consciousness. I think AB showed it to me. But you know what AB said, which is kind of disturbing? It was on his homepage, so I, maybe a lot of people are seeing it. Hmm. And then didn't you also say it was on your homepage, Cam? No, not me. But I think somebody else. Wasn't one of you guys? I did. I did. Oh, yeah. you saw it on your homepage? Uh, he's been on there for years. Super long. He must have like a decent contract with them, probably, is my guess. Because he's been on there for ages. So you open, I've never used Snapchat. I'm not a sexual offender, so I don't have a use for it. <laughs> uh, not, I'm just saying, because I'm old and married, and you guys are allowed to use Snapchat. I think you have to be young to use Snapchat. <laughs> but, uh, so you open the thing, and then on the homepage, they curate content for you, like YouTube homepage? Yeah, there's like a Discover page with hmm. a bunch of stuff on there. Yeah. Interesting. He just showed up there. So it's probably Diz is getting a lot of views then. He's not on mine right now. He's not on mine. Seeing some people in the chat report, it was on theirs. I saw it on mine. It well, there you mine. go. So you know, there you go. Mine too. Yeah. yeah, I'm seeing quite a few people say that. That's good. I so. have been caught in 4K. So that's why I need to respond to this shit. You know. So there you have it. Uh, here, by the way, he talked about me. Well, two months ago, yeah, he stopped uploading. Oh, Ethan calls for. Oh yeah, this is my favorite headline. Ethan calls for bombing U.S. citizens. What was it? What was the thumbnail? Why did it say no nut? <laughs> <laughs> Ethan Klein calls for bombing U.S. citizens based on political difference. Man, he was going in. He thought this was his chance. Yeah, what did it say? No nut something? It said so bad, no nut. <laughs> mm, no nut. This... So bad, I'm so bad, and Logan is no nut. <laughs> I love that pic of Logan, though. Dude, look at that picture of him screaming like a maniac. <laughs> no nut, so not, so not. I love no his bad. thumbnails, I gotta say. It's just consistently so fucking funny. Terrorist. Yeah, so that's what's going on with him. Go to teddyfresh.com. And pick yourself up some original, wonderful designs made by uh, my wife and a bunch of talented people. Check it out, guys. Keemstar, if you're watching, you can get a discount. Use code Keemstar. Oh, I should do that. I should run a promotion. Code Keemstar. (laughs) Shit, that'd be so epic. I should do that. I'm literally going to take the Teddy Fresh away. Wait. Wait. Are you in tr- are you are you are you um, in contact with Sarah? Oh yeah. She can set up a coupon code for us. Oh my god. Code Keem. Use code Keem. This is not a little corny. No, it's awesome. a little corny. Is it? I thought it'd be funny. I just feel like keep Teddy Fresh out of the drama sphere, you know. Well, it's not a public coupon. It's just for Poopa Troopers. Oh, I see. It's not like on the website. You won't be like promoting it. It's just it. for people watching. Well, I can send her a message. If you... No, I wouldn't put that on the homepage. Shit, right. hell no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for it's a little inside joke. <laughs> we can do it for like two days or something. Yeah, 30% off. Use code Keem. Ooh, really? 30? Holy moly. I know, it's crazy. Because this is brand new shit. Let's go. Dude, you and people, then I know it's crazy. Let's go. Thirty whole percent. Fucking hell! Thank you, Kimi. That is actually insane. I thirty. Holy moly! Holy the Kim code. Shit. Wow. Yeah. Tell ask Sarah. Are you in tra- you're in contact with her? I uh, yeah. Tell her to set up code Kim for two days or maybe th- maybe three days so people get or yeah or maybe till yeah, two days. I don't know. What do you think? Two days. Just me? I don't know. I don't know the financials of this. <laughs> Three days. Should we run this by Ela? Ah, probably. I shoot this down. Seems... I know. I should probably spend it. Yeah. It's just. I mean, she's gonna find it funny. Here, let me call her on the. Let me call her. And see what she thinks. <laughs> okay. Fuck! No! Fuck! <laughs> oh, I got cute pictures of her and Theodore. They're having a fun mommy Sunday today. Oh. I'm jealous. 
cute. Two, six. Oh, oh. oh my! <laughs> Come on now. It was just. It was just. I know. Yeah, didn't say anything. Um. By the way, we've been so much, such a nice time at home. Ela's family's in town, and they have three young kids. Oh. And their Theodore's just getting on so well with them. We've been having like pool parties, and he's just in heaven. It's been awesome. Oh, Ela's calling. Hey, I'm live. I'm live. Okay. Hey, I know you're live. I'm listening. I Wait, do you're... not find it funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you again. <laughs> I had a feeling. I had a little inkling. So that's a, that's a no on code, Keem? Yeah, I'm actually driving, and I was just going to start look for my phone to message you guys on WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was like, maybe we should ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. When, hey, come on, it'd be so funny. He's driving sales for us. Yeah, no, it's funny, but, like, nah. <sighs> nah. No, fuck! You heard it here. How was your day with Teddy? Those pictures look cute. It was great. Aw. <laughs> yeah. He's been in such a good mood. It's been so nice. So, I got him, he picked the Lego set, and he was like, um... <laughs> we gotta show this to daddy. He's gonna freak out. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> he's starting to get really good with his words. He's like three. Yeah. He's just over three, but he's starting to say the funniest stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. I'm glad that. Uh, I'm glad that you stopped me. Okay. <laughs> oh, Kim. Someday. Someday. Maybe when we yeah, do the. Well, maybe when we do the. Uh, oh, no. I can't talk about that. What? Okay. All right. Love you. Bye. No, I just... Thank you. Okay, okay. all right, all right, bye. 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 Make sure they behave. What about 5% people are asking? All right, well, no to that. <laughs> it was worth the it shot. Was, it was fun it's while It's a funny lasted, idea, but, but I just... Nope. Yeah, I, my instinct was telling me Ela was not going to... That's pretty that. funny that she was listening, though, honestly. <laughs> that, that was a great moment. Nope. All right. I was getting their credit cards out. I know. Shit. Keep starting. <laughs> All right. That was fun. Uh, moving on. We, oh, now it's time to talk about Dave Porkboy, who I've been trying to settle, squash the beef with. Really, I have been trying. Yeah, you were even like being somewhat complimentary to him just recently. You were saying he's yes. funny, and funny and you like yes. his pizza reviews and all that. Oh, you guys are so Yes, exactly. And so what I don't like about David, <laughs> David, like his mom, uh, if I may call you that, is that one, he pretending like he doesn't know who I am. And I find that a little corny because at first I was like, maybe he doesn't know who I am. And then you guys sent me a clip of him being like talking about me, that he knows me. So I don't know. It's a little corny, David. Like, well, and you guys have had back and forths. Yeah, yeah. Multiple times, so. But anyway, here it is. BFS, H3 podcast want to rant accusing Dave and BFF specifically, specifically of giving them a copyright strike if they use a clip from our podcast and YouTube's fingerprinting technology automatically gave BFFs a copyright claim. Good. H H3 accused BFFs of striking their YouTube video when YouTube auto-populates this on its own. So we're defending itself. Austin told me about this. I know we've talked about this guy, Ethan Klein. If you told me Ethan... Oh, okay. So he did... Okay, never mind. He's good. Klein's name. Maybe it was an old video where he said that, and then... Last week, I've been like, who's Ethan Klein? What's oh, no, see? Okay. I, 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 I was going to say, it's, it's here. Okay. I really had no idea what Austin is, uh, was talking about. And Ethan Klein has me pegged quite incorrectly if he thinks I'm running around modernizing who's using our fucking <laughs> clips. Let's watch what he said. Seriously, you guys are making a joke about us copyright claiming when you guys fucking striked up my video down? <laughs> like, bro, how corny can you get? Unlike you guys, I don't claim, or especially I don't strike down footage of ours, dumbass. I, but just a lunacy to think that we are issuing yeah. complaints. Is it, by the way, isn't it good when other podcasts use yeah, our clips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, That's what you would think, right, dummies? Great. It's great. Use our clips all the, all the time. Yeah, and we don't want YouTube to, like, strike you or do anything. That We want our clips out there. So that just yeah. lunacy. Yeah, so basically um, what happened. What's, what's the copyright clip even do for us? Like, what's so that basically, do for us? Well, at this point, I think I'll just, 
I mean, what he calls lunacy is um, quite literally provably true. A Street Podcast, due to a copyright takedown notice that we received, we had to take down your video. Takedown issued by Barstool Sports. This means that your video can no longer be played on YouTube. You've received one copyright strike. Well, that doesn't seem to mince any words on that one, does it, David? I don't know who did it, but somebody did it. First of all, and by the way, listen, you got to look at your shit. You got to figure out how the copyright system works because you're out there doing First, they claimed the podcast. We disputed it. Mm-hmm. And then you, and then they counter disputed it and claimed it. Basically, it gets to the point where they're like, you can either file a DMCA and take down the video and give them a strike, or you can just let it go. And they chose, in the face of our disputes, to give us a fucking strike and remove the video. There's no, there's no if ands or buts about it. They did it, and I was ready to forgive him too because they let it go. But now he's out here talking mad shit, dude. <laughs> and I'm not down with it. Especially doing that like, oh, we didn't include it because they're going to copyright strike us. Like, bitch, you're the one copyright striking people. Man, the barricade. Let's just hope. Yeah, I'm hoping that this one doesn't get copyright striked. Dummy. I mean, I believe him when he says he doesn't have anything to do with it. Of Me course. too. I said that in the original one. But right. he's saying I'm a lunatic. Right. He's saying I'm a lunatic. I'm crazy. Why would we ever do that? And, well, you guys need to get a, a hold of your shit. This is your show, right? You three fucking goons are running a show. You should know what the fuck is going on there. Are you are going you on the show? Are you out of no, your mind? I already oh. did that, and I don't want to. I'll tell you like, why. Because, he, I don't know, they're all on Zoom, and then they wanted me to come in and sit with, like, Josh, and they're on Zoom. Mm. Then they say, oh, you can, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. I like to meet Dave in person if we do it personally. I, I find it difficult to do good interviews on Zoom. Mm -hmm. Also, it's important to me that they can get a really unflattering angle of me, which they won't be able to do on Zoom. Right, I think, true. Yeah, that's important to us, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's content. It is. One <laughs> yeah, shot. Everyone knows the rules. But yeah, if you don't have the context, you're like, Ethan's insane. He's a lunatic. Why would we do that? We would never do that. Oh, and by the way, he's going to copyright strike us. So figure your shit out, bro. I have a show. I know what goes on here. Do you? Do you know what the fuck goes on on your show, Dave? No, that's why your show sucks, because you're barely involved in it, idiot. Maybe I'm taking it too far. Maybe, well, yeah. well I mean, we said we were going to war. We're reverting back into old Might take it yeah. too far. But this should piss me off, dude. I mean, come on. Like, just the girl, by the way, what was her name, Melissa or something? I don't want to. It's just a first name. But I'm saying. It, it wasn't that. I'm just saying that it would be very easy for you to figure out what happened here instead of blasting me on your show and calling me an idiot. Right, that's what I wonder. Like, it's like, it would be very they fucking They decided easy. to talk about it on the show. Wouldn't you, like, call like up whatever employee handles this stuff to, like, see, did we, did we do something with this? They yeah. just assume it was the automated They're like, system. no, this is crazy. This right. Is this is lunacy. I was out getting a slice. I don't know what's going on. And it might, I mean, maybe it was an overzealous, you know, employee Dude, of his. I don't give a fuck. I said in the original one, I doubt it. I obviously said it was him for the, for the you know, the scoop. The but meeting. I said in the thing, I'm sure he didn't even know that, about this. But anyway, let's continue. What happened? Did we get the money? Yeah, so what yes. happened is they got sent to it saying, like, this has BFS content, so the money would go to us. Like, we get oh, that all okay. the time on BFS and we do nothing. They said, no, we don't agree with that. YouTube looked at it and ruled and said, well, this is clearly that content, so the episode has to come down if you want. Stupid fucking liar. Or just so incompetently ignorant. You're lying, dude. You, YouTube doesn't do take down videos, bro. What a fucking Weasley little oh my liar, God. dude. <laughs> it's just, they're such liars. It's just not how it works. You have to physically, it's a legal notice. You have to fucking type in your information and literally sign it. Literally lying. Like, you're just such a fucking liar, bro. I hate when people abuse the copyright system and then just be like, it was automated. It's like, bitch, it wasn't. It was not automated. 
it, I pr it probably even said manually claimed, but I know for a fact that DMCA's have to be filled the fuck out, so... Fuck your mom. You can How apologize anytime. <laughs> like, this has BFS content, so the money would go to us. Like, we get oh, that all okay. the time on BFS and we do nothing. They said, no, we don't agree with that. YouTube looked at it and ruled and said, well, this is clearly that content. YouTube doesn't make judgments on copyright, bro. You're How dumb are you? That's what our legal system is for. That's why I'm being fucking sued for fair use. So the episode has to come down if you won't pay them the money. Yeah, YouTube said to them, they're not paying you the money, so we're taking the video down. Makes no sense. And also, the, oh. the strike has been removed anyway. Like, yeah, I mean, like we get all anyway, the time. Like, we do this all the time. We don't want to get fucked with it on the other end. Did they say they do this all the time? What did, did they just admit that they do this all the time? We don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the bottom line. Like, yeah, I mean, like we get all anyway, the time. Like, we do this all the time. We don't want to get fucked with it on the other end. Well, you and, and we 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 do it all the t we get that thing all the time. Most of the time, we just let the other. If we want the clip that bad, we just let them keep the money Correct. on like the YouTube stuff. Oh, yeah. they do claim people all the time. That's what he says. Right. I do it with Guess everyone. Who, I don't claim anybody. I don't I think, fucking claim anybody. I think he's saying that they get copyright claimed all the time. No, I don't think. Here, listen. And the that they no. let the other person collect the money if they claim it. Okay, let's let's see. And, and we 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 do it all the t we get that thing all the time. Most of the time, we just let the other. If we want the clip that bad, we just let them keep the money Correct. on. Like, oh, okay. Well, right. if you don't fucking care about your business, that's that's your problem. If you don't understand fair use, that's your problem, not yeah, mine. Like the YouTube <laughs> stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right, Olivia. Though that's what he meant. Yeah, but no, yeah, he's living in his own fantasy land. That we give a fuck about that. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, once again, thank you, Shredder. Shredder didn't like them. Once again, I'll be accepting apologies from Dave. Oh, the TV went out. Oh. The dog. Oh, Shredder, my boy. Sabotaging. You know, if people didn't want beef, then why the fuck they start shit with me? I'm trying to be the new Ethan. The nice Ethan. Stop, get away from that shit of me being fat. Cut it. I'm trying to be the new Ethan. Why you gotta come lie on me, Dave? I was trying to be friends with you. Saying I'm living in my fantasy world? You idiot. Yeah, maybe if you were a partner with 18 year olds, someone wouldn't have their head all the way up their fucking ass and they'd be able to fucking know what was going on back there. Listen, Ethan, I don't I don't know what the fuck's going on in my company. I just I just eat pizza all day. I just drink high noon and I yell at the Red Sox game. They fucking suck right now, don't <laughs> Oh, Dave, you are so... <laughs> Dave, you are so right in everything you do, Dave. You are just like the coolest Cam guy I've ever met, Dave. Cam and I always do this back and forth where we're Dave and Josh. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, yeah. Dave. Dave, you are so absolutely 100 million percent correct in everything you've <laughs> ever said in your entire life, Dave. You are just the coolest guy. Come on, kid. Everyone knows the rules. One bite. Come on. Introduce me to your friends. Come on. One strike. Come on. Everybody Dave, knows the rules. It's uh, just one strike. Oh, uh, Dave, can we pretend like you're Tom Brady and like I'm your son and like, Ooh. you kiss me on the lips? Yummy. I like that. I love Tom Brady, dude. He's the best. I'll kiss you right can we, now. Can we get it, can we get it on the TikTok? Can we, what's the TikTok thing? With your friends on there? Yeah. Dude, your friends I, on there? Wow, I'm blown away. <laughs> He's like, been keeping absolutely. that one in the box. Cam has got a good port noise. I'm very shy. Yeah. Dude's living in a fantasy world. Hey, he's he's a crazy. fucking psycho. He's lying. Josh, they're talking shit about us again. <laughs> Josh, <laughs> strike him down right now. Copyright strike him. Cam, <laughs> you love Dave, don't you? Oh, uh, well, hold on. Let me be clear. 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 He's from Boston. He's from Boston. He's a fellow Bostonian. Yeah, no, there's. you're not going to find a Boston sports fan that doesn't have some appreciation for Dave. No, you just got to. But he fucking sucks. Fuck him. Selks and six. Come on, dude. On the I wood. I'm be friends hey. with the guy. He says he's lying. This dude's lying. He's in a fantasy world. Fucking liar, dude. You're fucking crazy. You're crazy. Copyright strike him again. What is that, Dave? Give him strike two. Show this one more time. Okay? There you have it. Okay? Suck my tiny Jewish. You're, you're asking for another one right now. You give him more I strikes than the probably, socks, dude. Watch, they're going to give us another one and then say I'm crazy again. <laughs> There you have it. Shout out Dave Portboy. Ladies and gentlemen.
Thank you. Dr. Aids, is he still available? We wanted to ask him if, if drink, uh, his thoughts on drinking urine. Dr. Ids, uh, the uh, health expert, researcher, nutritional researcher, MD, doctorate, uh, is on the line. He's going to give us some advice on drinking your own urine. Is it good for you or not? Let's get the facts. We'll see the med meta studies. I'm not taking a pause to pee. <laughs> it's a reminder. <laughs> Healthier than water. I know that's so funny. I saw. <laughs> Somebody posted that and he commented. Ryan, or, Ryan Harvey. or Harvey did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out. Yeah, he posted it and the doctor is on Twitter was like, I didn't say that. Yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, I did not say that. It's what we heard, doctor. It's what we heard. I, I think he did say that, yeah. <laughs> Whether he said it or not, it doesn't matter. It's what we heard. Uh, you guys are saying best dealer, Ethan and Dave, have more in common? Okay, I'll buy it. What is it? It's just not for me, and that's okay. I can always get the button on my pants let out, but I can't get those moments that I fucking hate working out. That's back. what I said. Oh. Some just Where's all the Dave Porknoy beta compilations? Wow. Like, that's my fucking joke. That's my material. Interesting. What I'm seeing is he stole my joke. I'm being honest. It don't work out. This is my workout. High noon up. High noon down. High noon up. High noon down. That's my workout. Bro, I agree. I just want somebody please make Dave Portnoy beta compilations. <laughs> I need I, the, I need the alpha males to, to get their hands on this. Beta. <laughs> See, it's not that crazy what I said. Oh, Kim and Trish, what is this? Oh, did you know Keemstar was on BFFs? That's another reason not to go on there. I mean, how desperate are they for guests? Keemstar was on there. Well, how long ago? That's the question. Why doesn't it say publish date? Well, the, to the recent comments uh, says 11 months, so probably 11 months. Wait, is it supposed to be timestamped? Oh yeah, dude, this is this just cracks me up, by the way. Oh, the title is Trisha Paytas versus Keemstar over his 20-year-old girlfriend. Love that. Um, there's one soundbite. Of course, whenever he goes on anybody's podcast, anytime, he gets the opportunity to speak to a new audience. What's the one thing he does without fail? The one thing he does without fail. <laughs> talks about me, baby. Not only does he talk about me, he talks about how my dick doesn't work. Like, he's <laughs> obsessed with sharing that. It's so great. By the way, my dick works. I just said it has less sensitivity because I take <laughs> antidepressants. Cam but, is awesome. Yeah, thank you. But even if it didn't, I, it's, I don't care. Like, it doesn't bother me. I just think it's kind of embarrassing that he brings that up every time. By the way, if we're to talk about bullying, if he's going to report me every time to YouTube for making fun of his intrinsic features, this man's making fun of my medical condition. We need to make a compilation of that. See who's bullying who. Next one is most likely to backstab their friend. <laughs> oh, uh, Jaden Hostler. Ethan Klein. Oh. Wow. Who's you say oh. Ethan Klein or would yeah. not Trisha? I just love that. The back, even the backstabbing thing is like, dude, you don't even know me. No. Well, I mean, Trisha, you know, after there's, uh, you know, a, a, a legitimate breakup between her and, and another friend, then she starts dogging them and she goes off. Mm -hmm. Ethan literally just, I, I've seen this dude, like, he backstabbed PewDiePie. PewDiePie helped him out a big time. Uh, there's this other uh, big YouTuber that I can't think of at the top of my head, backstepping. Dude, this whole beef between... Wow, he got me good. You guys, <laughs> you he know. talking about himself he when you hit in the comments? He on that. He's like, there was another thing that happened. It By broke the it, their heart. Yeah, I know. He, he, he doesn't have the courage to say his own name. You know, <laughs> um, just a 40-year-old guy talking about using the word backstab unironically is just embarrassing. To be honest, 
me and Ethan Klein started when I went on his podcast. Everything was great. Um, you know, great podcast, <laughs> great <laughs> interaction. Tell the story Jesus. every time. It's five years Jesus. ago, bro. This happened so long ago. 2017. Holy shit, bro. Move on. Leave me the fuck alone, dude. <laughs> God damn. Oh, I fly back home to Buffalo, go Bills. Uh, I fly oh, back yeah. home to Buffalo. <laughs> and he... <laughs> go Bills. Well, he is on He's Portland, trying to suck up to yeah, Portland. Exactly. Yeah. Um, he leaves a comment and he's like, I fucking hate Keemstar on the video of the podcast. That's like, not what, what I said. After you like, just left you him? My... Yeah, after. Yeah, like... That's not what I said. You guys know what I said. He's talked about this story a billion times. Everyone knows. the next day after I got back, that right? drive me crazy. I, he doesn't like me either, and that I everyone said I was being okay. Mean. This is what I was saying. I saw this clip, and he says Ethan doesn't like me either. And then in the recent clip, he says I don't know anything about him. Who's Ethan? Yeah, I mean, why do people do that? It's just weird. Who Dave, was the we person still... we were we were dunking on recently, who was like very clearly pretending not to know who you were, and they were like, who is Ethan? E e e e e oh, Crowder. Ethan? Oh, it was Crowder. Crowder. Yeah, long time. Was it Crowder? Crowder? E he was like, e no, there was how someone do you else. say it? Eaton? Eaton? Eaton Klein? E who is this? E e no, I remember that too. Who was it? The I chat. think it was Portnoy. We probably talked about Portnoy before. Maybe? Listen, the Portnoy. Chat in the chat will know for sure. Give it a second. Portnoy, listen, listen, listen. We can still be friends, but you gotta own up to that fucking copyright strike. That's whack, dude. To like Tourette's, I think, because he has Tourette's, but he was making fun of us. Rolo. Oh, and Rolo oh yeah, he was Tony. making fun of my Tourette's. It was Rolo stuff. Tony. Oh, Rolo Tony Tomas. Yeah, Rolo, Rolo Tony, Tony Brown Town. Town. Yeah. What are you afraid of, Ian? Yeah, that guy. Thank you. Oh, everybody remembers. Everyone's typing well, Rolo. People are saying Tony Crowder, too. Crowder. Maybe they both did Crowder. it at various times. Crowder right? didn't know how to pronounce Ethan. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, that's so funny, Crowder. <laughs> Come on. You see me in your dreams. He said, how do you say it, Ethan? Right. Ethan, he, 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 it's like a common ass it's, name. It's such way. a common name. So fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> bro, you dream of me. You have nightmares where you're running from me in a hallway. Whoa, well, what a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Rollo Tony Brown Town. Check yourself right, right out the door. You know you want some Rolos. You know you gotta give, give him some, some more of those Rolos. Shout out Tim Heidecker. <laughs> anyway, we can still be friends, Dave. I don't hate you, but you pulled some whack shit on me, bro, today. And I did say it's like it's tough to make fun of somebody when you're stuttering. Which no, I you said by. you said you said it was it's tough to call someone a creep when you have an eye twitch like that. It, something, and then it was like, yeah, something. That it's fine. I don't I don't care about that. And didn't, you didn't know. You didn't, didn't know. Well. To be I didn't fair. know anything. I just you knew this know. guy's like out of the clouds making fun of me. Like I'm gonna make fun of you back, dude. It's fine. I'm not mad about that. It's fine. That's water under the bridge, Davy boy. Davy, my boy, my bestie. All you gotta do is own up to the copyright shit, and we can be homies. Grab a beer. Watch some sports. Go socks. What's that game he likes? Basketball. Go sell. <laughs> fucking Pats, dude. Go Pats, baby. Go fucking Pats, dude. We'll have a couple of beers. Go go to Gillette you Stadium. Gotta, you gotta drink High Noon with him. That's his thing now. High Noon. I can't drink like him. I wish I could. It'd be fun, but I just can't drink anymore. Like, I cannot drink, dude. It ruins my whole week. It's crazy. Fuck. Fuck. It's a good problem to have. Oh, it, is, it, it is. It is. Yeah, it is. But sometimes you wish that you could... Because sometimes people drink, and they, it looks like they're having so much fun. Sure. They're having so much fun. We are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah but it's after. the shit after. <laughs> it, it's the hangover. It's the spins after that just like, sure, yeah. ugh. You got to be diligent about it. Can you imagine if I was drinking, like, though? Drinking my my health. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what do you mean diligent? Yeah, what do you mean by diligent? Uh, drink Pedialyte. That's really helpful, oh. like uh, hydrating. Hydrate, hydrate, um, hydrate. We could ask, and like, uh, and know your limits. We could ask Doctor Ids for some. True. But you know what it is? In the lobby. It's not even the hangover. It's when I get drunk, I don't feel good anymore. Is really? it Corona season? It doesn't feel like fun. Mm. I feel oh, kind of like think bad. You like it? <laughs> well, I used to like it. Yeah. I'm gonna go rip it. I think it has to do with my medicines. Yeah, know. probably. 
insane. He's recently talking about my new girlfriend, and he does this like little skit where like my girlfriend calls in the show. It's obviously not my girlfriend, but it's a skit, right? And uh, they're talking about how I have a little dick and my dick doesn't work and all. Sounds pretty funny. Sounds like a funny ass sketch. <laughs> By the way, he got us a strike for that. He bitched out to yeah. you for that one. Sounds pretty good though. It sounds like a good show. It puts some production value, some planning. Who are they? What's the name of that show? Most other shit. I'm like, <laughs> what kind of fucking projection is this? Ethan Klein from the H3H3 podcast literally told the world on his podcast that because he's on anti-depression medicine, that his dick doesn't work. It literally doesn't like what? Yo, we need a compilation of him saying that <laughs> on all the different shows he goes on. It's fucking incredible. This man is obsessed with my penis yeah. function. Hi, I'm Dick. And Kip. it's just weird that he thinks that's an own. Like you're talking about a medical side effect. First of all, my penis works just for, the, I keep saying that, but yeah, thank you. It's just a, it, it's just a loss of sensation, you know? Right. Uh, but it's so embarrassing that he's like, yo, this idiot's on antidepressants and he got ED. What a loser. Oh, that Color gets too. my dick hard. What is this? So, it, I don't know. It's such a different world. I didn't even know who he was till yeah, like until he, he attacked us. The frenemies yeah. pod, yeah. Yeah. And that's done, right? Yeah, because Tarisha left because Ethan kind of drove her to leave, I think. No, how am I the bad guy? They're in this like crazy world where I drove Trisha to leave. You know, I'm bullying Keemstar. Keemstar's the poor victim of me. What a what a Wait, universe! A second ago, when they when Keem said uh, that you backstabbed Trisha, didn't they literally say, "Oh, really, Ethan, not Trisha"? <laughs> yes, they did. That's a good mem That's we a good observation. Up real fast. Mm -hmm. Just saying. How are you gonna? Mm -hmm. How are you gonna? How's that the summary of the end of Frenemies? Yeah. Yeah, and that's done, right? Yeah, because Trisha left because Ethan kind of drove her to leave. I think. God. That's some bullshit. And you can at least say it's complicated, okay? I'll accept that. That's, the, that's what I'll accept, but... It's a tangled web. Yeah. Got it. And that, yeah, you can only survive that type of dynamic so long. Yeah, that, was, that was a brutal dynamic, honestly. It was a crazy one. All right. Dude, I love this. Such good, it's such good commentary from them, bro. Josh Richard, everybody. He's so dope. He's actually so dope and insightful. Some say, some say the dopest. Wait, just watch the commentary on this. It's really good. Brutal dynamic, honestly. It was a crazy one. That was crazy, bro. Let's Yo, Josh, down. man. Damn, Josh. By the way, he's on his phone, I'm pretty sure. Josh really laid Spitting down, right heat, man. He's Socrates level shit. Yo, man. dude, Yo, that was crazy. Damn, that story's crazy, though. That yeah. shit was crazy. Dude, bro. You're that's so crazy, right, dude. dude. Yeah. Yeah. That was nuts, dude. You're wild, dude. Crazy. Whoa. Dude. That was nuts, dude. You're going off right now. So bro. right. Holy shit, man. You're so right. I was crazy. Well, that was a brutal time. What we talking about? It was a crazy one. All right, you next know, one. Crazy man. <laughs> I'll just take my bong rip real quick, dude. Yo, hold Trisha up. recently said something that I thought was uh, very credible. Um, she was on Tana's podcast, and I listened to this episode, and she said, "Listen, the reason why Friend of Me has really ended, no one is and you know, me and me and uh, Ethan, she said, me and Ethan, we got in all these fights, and we we broke up like so many times, but they were all my fault, so I could like come back and like, you know, apologize, and things could be fine. The last time they fought was literally Ethan's fault. He started it, and he couldn't acknowledge it. He couldn't accept it, so there was no mending the relationship. And I thought that was dead on right. You know what's funny about this? He's talking to them like they have this." intimate knowledge of my person of who i am <laughs> right like bro nobody is obsessed with me like you like <laughs> they, don't, they don't know what the fuck you're talking about I mean, it's embarrassing to keep bringing up my ed whatever what are they supposed to say about that i don't have ed okay thank you yeah. and even if i did i don't give i really don't care because my mental health is more important yeah that's great facts bro yeah that shit's crazy yeah. That no, shit's you, crazy. You think you're spitting. Yo, that's Oh, it's crazy. wild, dude. That's crazy, man. Man. That shit is crazy. Wow, dude. Whoa. Man, it's Wednesday, my dude. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It's crazy, wow, man. Oh, man. Shit. All right, we, we got poor Dr. Ids on the line. Yeah, pull up, Doc. about drinking piss. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pull He's up, asking doc. me if the Coke is healthier than piss. All right, stand by. I'll bring him in. 
stand by. Keep uh, hello. Oh, doctor, here he is. Welcome back to the show. How are you, my friend? How's it going? Doctor, thank you for joining us on such a short notice. Obviously, we wouldn't invite you on like this unless it was something urgent and <laughs> uh, uh, pressing. So, Doctor, um, I don't know if you're aware, there is a community of people that drink their own urine. Some ferment it, they bottle it, some drink it fresh. They say they're recouping their bodies, uh, beautiful, wonderful vitamins. Is this a good idea, Doctor? Right. Um, okay, so we need to need to be careful about how we address this because, uh, you know, I am aware that it is part of some cultural norms and it is actually part of some society's practices, right? Um, but at the same time, I think this this practice might have been kind of made pretty popular or at least known of in the West from, I think it was... Um, is it Armstrong or someone? Someone basically wrote a book claiming that drinking your urine is like, what was it? Like the treat, like um, the treasure within urine or something like that. It's something right. like that about 50, 60 years ago. Um, and he was claiming that drinking your urine cures heart problems, um, can cure cancer, wow. can cure, you know, even allergic conditions that you're, you know, people are born with. That's and amazing. They, yeah, so, you know, I think uh, a lot of these claims have actually been blown out of proportion massively. And people need to realize that, you know, urine does contain lots of pathogens, meaning it contains lots of bacteria, mm. lots of toxins. Mm. And even if you don't have a urinary tract infection, meaning you're not, you don't have an acute infection in your urine, that that isn't the same as not having any bacteria in your urine. Right. Right. So essentially what I'm saying is, is that we have lots of millions and millions of bacteria just living, just, you know, they're living happily within our body, right? Whether it's in the gut, in the urine, in our mouth, in our, you know, anywhere along our digestive tract, on our skin, we have millions of bacteria on our skin as well. They live perfectly happy. Now, when you cause an imbalance, an overgrowth, or you cause some change in the number of bacteria you have, right? So imagine you take that urine and then you swallow it. So what you're doing is you're introducing millions of, well, not millions, but loads of bacteria that shouldn't be there in the places in which you're consuming them, right? So in your mouth, you've got, you know, a good set number of organisms living happily they're all swimming around doing their own thing, right? And then you take the happy organisms in your urine and within your tubes where you pee out of, and you introduce them to somewhere where it's no longer gonna be happy. Then you cause an imbalance and you run the risk of, you know, getting E. coli infections, you know, and I've seen this in hospital Is lots of times. It's, it's real bad, it's real bad. Uh, because uh, do Doctor, can I ask you a question? Um, Go on. There's another thing involving urine, uh, peeing in the butt. Is that a health concern, or do you think that's fine? You pee in another person's butt. Why would someone do that? Uh, piss in my ass, bitch. That's White Claw Gabe. <laughs> yeah. Because it's Friday. Because it's Friday? <laughs> They're just, yeah, it's because uh, it's, it's, it's Friday. It's a sexual act, you know. Oh, okay. Um, so a similar thing applies. So we don't what like you're doing it. is... Yeah. No, we don't like it because yeah, yeah. you're causing an imbalance in the environment, which is living happily. Got it. Right. So we say no, say no to uh, consuming urine. And it's a sexual and, and, dance. And, and what about these people? Have you seen these where they ferment it? They can it for like months and months. What's it supposed to do? Like, like age like fine wine? Yes. I don't understand. Is it? Oh, it's okay. so gnarly. They make a lot of claims about all kinds of uh, um, health benefits to it. In fact... We oh, saw one clip. So this was the um, the person I was talking about earlier. Who? Oh know. yeah, this guy. Yeah. So doctor, here's a little fresh little clip for you here. Go on then. Let's see. Not urine. It's human juice. It's human juice. Just having my midstream, I pissed the first part. Usually I do the whole thing, but I don't feel like eating or drinking that much. 
you're in just a little bit. I just flooded my body with superfoods and I shone my scrotum with uh, 660 nanometer wavelength as well as 850, getting right into those spermatic cells, really secreting good amounts right, of manly his, uh, juices. Are you catching well. all that? It's a lot but, of, yeah. I'll so keep... he sh he's, he's shining light on his scrotum as well. Yes, yes yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. At a certain wavelength, though. 660, I believe. Yeah. And, and why is he saying he's doing that? Well, let's go. Uh, get... Maybe it's like an angel number or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's like good luck. Uh, hey, let's see. Let's see. Uh, you know, I find it so much easier to feel authentic when my glandular system is potent. And so I'm going to drink my piss <laughs> to reabsorb all those expensive organic superfoods. <laughs> it's a cost saving measure. Right. He's okay. getting the best bang for his buck there on those expensive superfoods. You know, the funny thing about, about the shining the light on the scrotum bit is actually w the scrotum is hidden from sunlight for a reason. That's what oh. I thought. I remember so, when this was popping up, I was so confused. I thought the whole point is to so we, keep it away. We keep, the, we keep the scrotum out of the sun. Yes, because the skin is very fragile, very thin. It's not designed, it's not part of our, our design to have it exposed to light or heat. Mm. So actually, you know, you, you're, you're running the risk of causing, you know, genetic mutations in those cells. Really? Which, yeah, Yo, of course. That's wow. crazy. <laughs> so you could be actually, you could be, when you and say the that. Really, the really sad thing is, is that if you start to develop a skin cancer on that area, because every day you're doing what this person is saying to do, then you're not going to be able to see it. Right. Right. Because it's, it's the scrote. Yeah. And when you get a stage four skin cancer, you're pretty much fried. It's very hard. Like, it's very easy to treat early on. And it has a very good, you know, success rate early on. But who's looking down there every day? Mm. Like, and, and even those who are looking down there, who knows what they're looking for? Probably not that, huh? Yeah. No one. <laughs> um, so don't do that. Is stage four, is like stage three, four skin cancer? I'm just asking my own. I'm just curious. Does it look like super fucked up, like it's hard to miss? No, it's it that depends. advanced. It, no, it, it's not really about the look. It's more about the depth into the skin. Okay. Um, so, you know, the typical skin cancer that you guys are probably familiar with is the, you know, the black kind of pigmented you know, m malignant melanoma, we call it, mm -hmm. right? But you have lots of different types of skin cancer that are actually colorless. They might be pink. They might be the same as your skin tone. They might be a little circle. They might be a thin spread skin cancer. Mm. So the typical ones that you see on TV or, you know, you see on the news or whatever, they will be, you know, the barn door in your face, kind of black, weird, kind of pigmented, you know, skin cancers. Those ones are easily identifiable. Um, they can develop from any mole. You know, if you guys have moles, if they're from rapidly mole, changing. You should get them checked. Yeah, yeah, we had a whole thing about that. But what do we do about the pink ones or the color of your skin? What do we do about that? Well, a general, a general guide is if you see any lump, bump, or skin lesion okay. that is changing in size, changing in elevation, changing in the rim so the actual the texture of the rim and the shape of the rim mm -hmm. and if it's asymmetrical in color so mm. it's not the same color throughout mm. then those are guidelines to go and get it checked out by a doctor so you it'll be it'll be like bumpy if you have it yeah so bumpy is one of them it doesn't have to be bumpy you can yeah. have ones that are completely flat against the skin you don't actually feel anything you don't feel then anything when, yeah there are some where you don't feel anything yeah. So what? How? What would? How would you catch that one? So different colors, or if it's you know, okay. if there's like a ring around it, like a different shape ring. Okay. Okay. You know, so maybe on one side it's one shape, on the other side so it's you would, like another this, shape. It wouldn't be bumpy, but it would have some visible. Uh, you will have cue. one of the four or five characteristics that yeah, I've described. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So either texture, color, right. asymmetry, elevation of the skin. Yeah. Now, um, I have a question for you. I have a friend who had a really weird looking mole on the back of his neck. Mm -hmm. It was just the border was super weird and it was really dark. And I said to him, yo, you should get that checked out. Mm -hmm. And he went to the doctor and um, 
it was benign and now he's angry at me. Do you think that's right? Absolutely not. Right. Absolutely not. Because you can have Yeah, you did good. You did good Thank to tell you. your friend that's to go. Because Thank you so much. Because lots of people with white skin, Caucasian background, you can have twenty, thirty, fifty moles on your on your skin, right? It only takes one to that's be it a non-benign hmm. lesion like, and if you keep saying oh it's probably just another one that's growing or whatever whenever you see change get it checked hey, that's it simple um, can you send this i'm gonna can you send this to the doctor i want to know if i have skin cancer <laughs> well <laughs> yeah one sec here doctor i will <laughs> I mean, I won't be able to formally diagnose anything, but course, I can give you, I can give you so advice. Boring. I can just give you advice, just to say, you know, if it looks concerning, to get it checked out. Yeah. So okay. low res. Mm -hmm. How am I gonna see this? Where am I? Where am I looking? I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay, I guess oh, okay. Olivia's gonna send it to you. I got a good photo here. Okay. Hang on, doctor. We got. Uh, anyone else want something they need diagnosed? <laughs> you While we're here. <laughs> Since we got a doctor can, on the line, yeah, I, I can give general guidance, health guidance. Like I'm not, I'm not diagnosing. We're anything. looking for official diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you able to? Are you able to uh, write scripts over the Zoom yeah, call? Can you write me a <laughs> <script>? <laughs> yeah. Can uh, Yeah. Yeah. This is. Uh, the, I'm not. I'm not in America. I don't know how you guys do it there. Okay. Oh, that's so funny. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we could get you some kind of permit or something so you could write us a script overseas. <laughs> yeah, or maybe you could just grab them and I could just reimburse it. You could ship it. Yeah, just to that. <laughs> just, just kidding, just kidding. Just, I know this isn't even funny. You're a real doctor. We don't joke about these things. Yes, thank you, Ethan, yeah, for yeah, writing yeah. it back. No, no, we don't joke about this. Did you send it? Man. Yes. Okay, so this is a bump. It's been on my leg for a year plus, you know. It's like, Where am I looking? Where am I looking? I just sent it to you, so it should pop okay. up. Okay. Yeah, you could Go pull on. up the photo too, Dan, so the people at home can see. Or you see send it. it in. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh... Okay. Yeah. So it's a it's a red bump, and it's I've had it for a year plus. It hasn't really changed much, but it's very mm. um, hard to the touch. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So it's been there for a year. Yeah, at least at least. Right. Okay, and what? When did you first notice it? What 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 was it looking like? <laughs> that picture. And it was basically I noticed it like that. It was like this hard kind of growth that just came out okay. on my leg. It's and if you guys are wondering where that is, it's my calf basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay, so you noticed it basically looking like that. Yeah. And that was about a year ago. At least. Okay. So, if we apply the general tips that I gave earlier, you guys should re remember them by now. So, go on, you guys tell me. Well, is what, the color even? Say? It's color lumpy. Is even and is the border okay. blurred? Yeah, I don't think so. The the border looks fine, right? It's you guys are good. There's a uniform good, color, right? Yeah, I think you're okay. It kind of. What are the what were the other ones? Scabby. So like elevated. Lesion? So is elevated. it elevated? It is. The skin? It is it elevated. Is. Yeah, that's fine. But has okay. the elevation changed? No. Is it growing further out? No. No. Okay, fine. Is there? There's no kind of hard and fast, you know, border. Like you couldn't draw a circle around it properly. Like there's no rigid kind of mark around the end. It doesn't look like anyway. It looks like it's, it blends. I guess into I don't know what skin. that means, but no, I don't think so. Basically, like you, you've got a circle, or you've got like a faded kind of shade of color. Like it fades into your so skin. So which is the right? bad one? <laughs> Basically, like, like a circle, like a dot, like oh. just a, oh, okay. no. a well-defined. No, no, we don't have high that contrast doctor. between the. Uh... We have a healthy yeah. fade. We have a healthy healthy fade. fade okay. Yeah, yeah. So there's a good skin fade there. And by the okay, way, like your that. fade looks fresh as hell. I want to tell you. Yeah, I had it a couple of days ago. Thanks. Yeah, Thanks, it looks great. Friend. I had to cheer myself up before this 14-hour shift I just finished. Oh my Ooh. goodness! And then you get on with us. The work never yeah. ends. I read the email like, all right, go on, man. Why not? <laughs> I was like, drinking pee. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. so. So, going back to this, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, applying the general principles that are good for anyone to follow, 
This to me doesn't look too concerning, seeing as though there's not been too much change over the past year, right? But if you still, if you are particularly concerned about, there is no reason why you can't get it looked at. But I'm so I'm pretty the, sure. Hit the, hit the symbol. He says the verdict is. You should be okay. The, the, the official diagnosis <laughs> is. Be okay. Well, doctor, you'd be happy to know I have showed it to a dermatologist. He said it's fine. Good. That was I'm I was glad. testing you. <laughs> even though even though dermatology is not my specialty, I mean, I right. sure like to think I have some basic principles that I can advise the public. No, it's good. This is all we're saving lives here today, doctor. But I'll say, um, sometimes I wonder. I was like, man, this. What if he's wrong? You know. <laughs> you go, damn. Because he looked at it for a second. He's like, oh, that's just a. And then he gave me some medical term. He's like, that's just a. I was like, I'm okay. Fine. Okay, I'm not sure what that medical term was, but it sounded okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, doctor, I think we saved lives today here. No, we did. We did some good uh, public health service there. I'm, we'll keep. I'm, I'm we'll, we'll, we'll keep it up. This is important stuff. It we got to keep my yes. fan, my fans alive and well. Okay, we can't afford to, to lose any of them. <laughs> that's that's the purpose of what I do every day, my friend. I try. If 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 you guys can help facilitate more improvement in health, then I'm I'm happy. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Howie has something to say about this. Go on. My friend Ethan bent over and this happened. Oh, I see. I I got scared you were about to show him the oh, prolapsed anus no. and without oh, any gosh. No. And, uh, Even a doctor, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, okay. what are we <laughs> Dr. Ed's on TikTok. You can find him everywhere. He's the legendary, world famous Dr. Ed's friend of the show. All right, get some sleep, doctor. You've had a long day. Thank you so much. Thank you, my Thank friend. You. And, and uh, you. if you need me to debate any doctors, let me know, yeah? I will. Woo! Absolutely. Good. For yeah. sure. All right. You take care. <laughs> take care. Dr. Take care, Ids, ladies and gentlemen, says, I do not have cancer and do not drink urine. We're learning a lot. Or don't pee in the butt either. Sorry, Gabe. All good tips. <laughs> Sorry to burst the bubble on that one, buddy. Chocola Vista, motherfucker. Um... There's one other thing I wanted to show. Rip. Yeah, go ahead. Just while we're between topics, uh, some donos. A uh, hundred euros from okay. Cin uh, Cinnamon. Thank okay. the gifted. Thank you for gifted. Thank you for the gifted. <laughs> to Dan for doing your job. I always envy you. Wait, I'm now I got to give Dan a hundred? Is that for you? No, I, I think it's just addressed to me. Well, then. To Dan. To Dan. Isn't that a hundred for you? I mean, if you want. I mean. So I gotta give you a hundred, and I gotta, and I owe a living. I wasn't interpreting it that way. It just seemed like a, it was a dress. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the gifted. But thank you, thank you so much, Sydney, and thank you for the ten gifted sub prolapse penguin. Damn, prolapse penguin. From age three. Thank you for the tier one sub, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I prolapse I didn't penguin. Get a fast one. I'm a, I was a little disappointed in in my ninja. I like his, his. You really wow. like took his time with it. He's a wow. Thank you for the gifted. From age three. Wow. 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 Prolapse wow. Penguin. Thank you for the 10 gifted. Kill the thing with the prime. Kill, a, <laughs> kill the thing with the prime. Kill the thing with the prime. Yeah, so while we're on the topic of uh, Keemstar, lightly touched on Trisha, here's a clip. I actually don't even know where it's from. Where's this from? Does anyone have intel on that? Well, whatever. Here it is. I know there's 196 people watching, so... This is a worldwide proclamation. Well, when that baby uh, comes out and things uh, calm down a little bit, there will be content with me and Trisha Paytas. Are you the father? No, <laughs> I am not. I mean, I made a whole video about. Yeah, so I, 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 don't, I frankly don't believe it. That would be an insane thing to do for Trisha. And I'm not, I'm not going to even say that she would said anything like that. Uh, because I don't believe him. If it happens, if it actually happens, then we can talk about it. You know what I mean? But at this point, I think it's just another whack-ass Keemstar bait. Keemstar, shut up. Also, by the way, didn't like the joke about Are You the Father? Very corny. Tasteless. You know? Like, what the fuck? It's not funny. So. Some, yeah, he's manifesting. That's what he's trying to do. God, that would be, honestly, I wouldn't even be super mad if they did make a podcast, because it would be such a train wreck. 
Um, it would be kind of fascinating to watch it go down. It's like, bro, you're so obsessed. Don't you see how obsessed you are with me? Now you're trying to get to start a podcast with Trisha. It's weird. Like, realize. You want to live in my skin at this point. Damn. Disturbed. So that's that. Now we got, okay. We talked about Pork Boy. Talked about Keem. This is when it really goes down. And this one is going out to you, love. You yeah. Know, this this is some fucked up shit. And I feel well, like the... you even maybe were softer on Aiden Ross than we were. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Did this break your heart when you saw it? No, because he's a fucking pussy, bro. I don't give a fuck what he thinks. He, he, if I, he talks shit on my fucking $5 glasses and a $10 hat. Well, is it going to hurt my feelings? No, not really. He came after love, which, you know, I mean, who does that? Uh, yeah. Let's watch. Aiden Ross is looking for some heat, um, and he's going to get it. Yes. Andrew Tate on Aiden Ross. Is this worth talking about? Mm. Honestly, I found it disappointing. It was just... What the fuck is this, man? It's just the, his usual bull. The the shtick is like <coughs> I know people think he's hilarious, but like, you know what I realize? His whole like shtick now is just doing. Uh, do you remember Maddox? Yeah, back yeah, in the yeah, day? yeah. He's just like that, but unironically. Right. And it, but it's like so like early two thousands humor. Like, fucking hate kids. I'll kid kids, bro. Kids are fucking. I get stupid. my energy from the sun because I'm a my, man. Absorb <laughs> rays from the sun. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not. I just don't understand why. Yeah, so Aiden Ross did this stream. He had like 230,000 viewers, which is pretty nuts. Uh, with peace and love to Aiden Ross, I thought his interviewing was horrible. I mean, I mean, with <laughs> peace and love, it's just kind of... I mean, I'm not an interviewer, bro. I mean, I'm not a 60-year-old gray-haired like, man. <laughs> Got, okay, yeah. Fair. Ow. Fair. Won't even object to that one. At least he didn't call me fat. He's not a so, real So, I mean, I don't really have, you know, much... You know? Not like me. Yeah, that's fair. You don't have a lot of experience. I, I get it. I mean, you're 60 years old with gray hair. I mean, you should be better at <laughs> interviewing than me. Yeah, that's fair. Honestly. You know I mean? I do mean that. Okay. You've gotten good. Have I'm, you seen my Bill Burr interview? <laughs> I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about in the last couple years where you... <sighs> you know, I'm not what, bro. Minutes 30 minutes, bro? No. Okay. <laughs> but I just don't know why people are... Uh, Celebrating, he's getting so much exposure recently. Bro, Andrew, Andrew Tate, Tate is a demon. Out of a one, like, like, oh, interesting commentary. <laughs> okay. Fucking Don't disagree. Scary, violent, <laughs> beating the shit out of a woman. He was just raided by the police for kidnapping and human trafficking. I just don't understand why people go like, he's entertaining. I want to talk to him. Uh, and just, like, dude, what are you doing promoting this guy? He's a fucking. Psycho. I don't think it's like no comment from him on this one, by the way. I love that. He's like, damn, bro, I'm not gonna say shit about this. I don't think it's yet widespread knowledge of what uh he just smiling he actually is, though. I think he's really popular on TikTok, and it's just like these goo it's like Alex Jones. I, I liken it to the Alex Jones thing where like all right, bro, I'm gonna be honest, we're not watching this, bro. I can't, I can't. <laughs> awesome. He has the debate skills of Andrew Tate himself. Listen, what? Why did you pull it up if you weren't going to engage with with what I said? He said he beats women up. It's on video, and he's human trafficker. So, do you want to comment on that? Yeah, bro, I can't. Bro, I can't. Bro, like, bro, Bad. bro, I can't. Bro, Bad. like, Bad. bro, I, 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 just can't. I literally can't, bro. I can't. Bad. Bad. Okay. Oh hell no! Get me the fuck off of here, bro. What the fuck? Oh hell no! Bro. Fuck out of here, bro. All right. You didn't say anything. What the fuck? Keep watching. I know, I know, but I'm saying, like, dude, you just played a clip of me very, I think, accurately criticizing you, and you literally had nothing to say. I mean, Brett. L. Brett. I can't, Brett. Fucking L, Lord. Brett. Aiden L. Ross. Uh, like, whoever requests that is so weird. <laughs> Y'all are trolls, bro. Oh, somebody's uh, somebody that. Oh, man. He knows he's fucked. He <laughs> looks dumb as hell. See, this is the type of joint you got to dedicate to somebody. Just make sure they're that special somebody. <laughs> Young Money. Y'all know what that's from? 
Yeah, the whole shtick that Aiden's doing with him. Wait, why is he back on it now? <laughs> Young money. You know what that's from? <laughs> that's my favorite part. I'm sorry, but this is just not I seem entertaining know. to me. I know I'm like six year olds with gray hair, but I don't fucking get why people watch this. Maybe I'm a boomer. Am I a boomer, love? Is this entertaining? I mean, he really loses his, like, all his views when he does do these kinds of streams. Okay, okay. And they, when he does actual events, they go up, uh, which is fair enough. But okay, okay. just him is not entertaining at all. It's what, what, what you're seeing right now is what you get. Okay, okay. So, horrible. So, so these streams get less views, and then the big ones oh, get yeah. all the crazy numbers. Yeah. Interesting. Is really fucked up. It's so irresponsible. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, I feel like Aiden's just involved in something that he has no idea what he's doing. You know, he's trying to do shtick, but doesn't realize the significance. <coughs> Same thing with the whole steak situation. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to keep fucking gambling and printing pussy. Yeah, obviously, but you cried to me when you talked to me. Did you forget how you cried and begged for forgiveness and said you were going to stop, and now you're going to call me out and say I'm a pussy? Bro, I know you are. I know you didn't stop. You literally admit that you know it's fucked up, and then you kept doing it. And now I'm the pussy, and you're going to keep doing it. Pussy. Dub. Pussy. Dub. <laughs> like, dude, Adam you were, came on my show, and you were crying. I'm so sorry. Daddy, please. Aiden lost. Same Jeez. thing with the whole steak situation. Yeah, and I'm going to keep fucking gambling and printing pussy. Hell yeah. <laughs> So good. Exactly. He doesn't give a shit. He's just trying to... Uh, very... Damn right, I don't give a fuck. Or at least I... Except when last time you talked to me and you were crying, please. I'm not going to do it much longer, I promise. I think Twitch should do something about it, because... They're not going to. Dude. Adam Ross is 21 years old. He's... Damn, bro, like, this is fucking ugly-ass cowboy fucking, like, have a, a, a bone over me, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, bro, I don't understand. Like, why are these, why are these dumb fucks on my dick, bro? Like, bro, why are you on my? We just explained just it that... pretty thoroughly. Well, and also, Love was just saying Twitch should handle it. Yeah, I it wasn't find... even really criticizing. <laughs> yeah, I feel very targeted here. It's funny. <laughs> it's so funny to me that he unleashes on Love after looking at all of us. And you, well, he's really got kind of insecure when he saw my ten dollar hat. You know. Yeah, dude, he saw. He saw what a real man looks like, and he got Sheesh. fucking scared. Yeah. Yeah, so this is when he goes off on love. This is when it goes sideways. Fuck. <laughs> or at least I think Twitch should do something about it, because... They're not going to. Dude. Adam Ross is 21 years old. He's... Damn, bro, like, this is fucking ugly-ass cowboy fucking, like, have a, a, a bone over me, bro. Like, Take it back, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Fucking pussy. It's Talk shit go. about love? That got me defensive, dude. I was like, hell no. Really talking shit about love? Having a little fun yeah. with some props? Can't believe it. Your whole life's a prop, bro. Damn. I couldn't have said it better myself. I know. I know, it just blew your mind, fucker. Pussy? I got it. I got it. We were joking about this before the show that it's really good that he thought Love was a real cowboy. That's going to help for his immigration. Mm. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's America passing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, I don't understand. Like, why are these, why are these dumb fucks on my dick, bro? Like, bro, why are you on my dick? Look at your room, bro. I okay. That's <laughs> when he fucked up. Dude is not is famous for having the most fucked up room in the game. Like, hold on, hold on. pull it yeah, up. Just look here. Yeah, pull it up. I mean, first of all, this is a <laughs> love has pulled an image. This man was living in a dirty laundry infested. The fucking guy has a curtain duct taped over the window, <laughs> and you literally you're gonna call out love's room? Beautiful backlit, yeah. well organized yeah, king. Nice gradient. I hang my uh, Teddy Fresh right here. Oh, you guys can't see it because. That's yeah. Aiden's yeah. room. But, dude, yeah. hell no you didn't call out his room. Come on, dog. Dude, you're not Come even on, good dog. at flaming. Why Why are you even on... Why are you even an entertainer, dude? That's the best you got. Yeah, he... Come on, like, he, everything he said is, like, super just demissible. Like, he called you 60 years old, you're clearly not 60. And you're you only 40. That. 37. Yeah, exactly. You're only 40 years old. Yeah. 37, damn. Uh, talking shit about my hat, my appearance. I mean, that's some... Your room? Like, yeah, I played Call of Duty for a couple, you know, growing up, so th these things don't, don't touch me at all. Um, mm -hmm. Had to step yeah, it up, so, bro. Yeah, you gotta step it up to reach us. Uh, I mean, at this point, he probably, 
averages 20k users, 20, 20k viewers, you know. That's like a third of us currently, which is kind of embarrassing in my Does opinion. It, wait, I thought he got way more than 20. Well, on these average, like, streams, you know. So that's crazy that that... When he doesn't have, like, a sex offender or, like, a gambling <laughs> yeah, exactly. addict or somebody that's on. That's crazy. Andrew Tate had 230,000. <laughs> that's so nuts. Yeah. Why are these people no, on my nuts, bro? He's always getting carried by, by all these people. Aiden Ref yeah, gets, uh, he gets, like, uh, pulled over for drunk driving. Why are you always on my nuts? Why are these police on my nuts? They're not going to. <laughs> He's probably right about that, though, unfortunately. Fuck the police? No, <laughs> no, when he says they're not going to. Twitch isn't going to yeah, ban yeah. the gambling. Yeah. Dude makes $2 million a month with 20,000 live views? Well, he he like he, like he went for before he went on a break here. I see him like his lower end streams when he's just gaming. It's like 20 average, 25k average. Then after the what's his, what's his name? Uh, um, after Tate, the Tate interview. The, the Tate thing obviously like spiked super much, and he's been keeping somewhat of a high average. Someone after said that. he's getting 70k now. Yeah, afterwards, yeah. That's pretty good. I understand why they watch this. He's entertaining, super smart. <laughs> Insightful, <laughs> right on the nose every time, bro. I just don't understand. Like, bro, look, look at, look at, look, bro. Look how he's dressed. Like, bro, look. Like, it's funny. No, <laughs> Aiden fun has no top sheet on his bed. <laughs> bro, you have no top sheet. <laughs> Wait, I gotta find. Uh, can you send me a screenshot? Yeah. This man has no top sheet. Silence. Bottom sheet blanket. Grow up, dude. Jail. Grow up. It's time to make your bed and go to your room, Aiden Ross, and think about what you've done. <laughs> I bet Love has a, a great bed with a duvet cover. Is that right, Love? A mm -hmm. top sheet, bottom yeah. sheet. Is that right? You want to show your bed or I, no? That no. would be the ultimate flex if you're all set up there. Uh, I mean, I'll show. I have a, I have a bottom thing. At Look least. at Aiden's bed right there. <laughs> I mean, it's not. Fuck, it's not. Yeah, that room kind of looks like a room part, right? where. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see your bed. It's kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie. Well, that's my bed right there. It has a bottom thing. What's on it? You know what I mean? You have a sheet on it. And he's got a headboard, yeah, dude. Headboard. I have headboard. That's huge. Backlights. Is uh, that laundry or just a blanket? This is some laundry right here. Okay. You know. Mm, okay. A little, a little messy. The finger in the not shelf. Well, he wasn't expecting company. That being said, company. you do have a. Bed sheet. Yeah, that's what that's the bottom line, right? Yeah. Bed sheet. Did you get a pick for me? Hmm? I was hoping someone bed. would pull that pick I, of I, his I, sheetless mattress. I'm oh. looking through trying to find one this. where you can see it clearly. Mm. Well yeah, I guess Love has it because he's using it as a background right now. Here. Oh, is that what you're talking about? This one? Yeah, yeah. He does have a bed sheet on this one. Mm, oh yeah, that's true. He did laundry that day. Yeah. Shout out to the king. Bed sheet. Like, it makes me <laughs> mad, bro. Motherfucker's wearing sunglasses and a cowboy hat in a fucking room. Stay mad. Oh my God. Cope and seethe, bitch. Go, go, He's such a... Wait, he literally said... <laughs> as of this, in a moment of rage, this entertainer, he says, This idiot is wearing a cowboy hat and glasses in a room. In a room? Fucking roasted. <laughs> he literally just in a room? He just described ah! without a without editorializing at all. He literally just described what he's seeing. <laughs> this yeah. guy is wearing a cowboy hat, glasses, and he's sitting in a room. Oh, she. That's a roast. In my room. How's that a roast, Aiden? I spy with my little eye. <laughs> cowboy hat, boy. Yeah. What else do you room. see? Hey, look at this guy with the eyeballs, man. Yo, this. Look, he's got a hair. Yeah, tell me what else you see, buddy. Keep it up. You're doing good. Like, seriously, bro? You're a dick rider. You're a dick sucker. Hop off my fucking dick, pussy. <laughs> pussy? <laughs> pussy? That's all he has. That Sounds is like funny. Sounds like Chet. He says pussy in a way. Yeah, it's kind of a Chet yeah. move. Yeah, Chet move. Pussy clap. Pussy clap. 
pussy. That's all he's got. Is he says. But the funniest funny. part of this clip is just it's so <laughs> random and unwarranted. I was kind of like, I was defending him a little bit or giving him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, you know? more than anyone. <laughs> Boom. It's just I just find it very funny. Pussy. Is it interesting that? I mean, you come from the Twitch world, right? Before you worked right. for us, is it kind of interesting to be specifically called out by Aiden Ross? Yeah, but I mean, honestly, it doesn't really. He's he's not on my radar. Really. I don't watch him at all. Bro, you're sitting in a uh, room. Jesus. Shut up! Yeah, I'm sitting you're in sitting a in a room, but, bro, idiot. You have fucking earphones <laughs> in, and you're wearing a beanie and a hoodie. Look at this girl. You got teeth and a nose, two eyes, and two oh ears. Look Christ. at her. Are you Look kidding? at her. Look at her. She has hair Look sitting her. in a chair with a laptop the in nerve. front of her. Look at her. The nerve. Pussy. I know. Pussy. <laughs> 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 hey, bro, you watch me, bro. You study me. You, you look at my moves. You watch my every moves. Of course, you got a Pokemon uh, sticker right there. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 whoa. That is. I spy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. At least he, saw, he noticed something interesting, at least. Yeah, but that was like, damn, calling that out is kind of too far, in my opinion. I you don't study know. his moves like Cobra Kai, my guy. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. But I wonder if he's going to. Uh, Make some kind of commentary, or if he's just doing playing I Spy. He's like, "Yo, you have a picture of Pokemon," because he he could be like, "Yo, of course you're a simp, you dick ride." Yeah. For Ethan and Pokey, you know, tier three. There's lots of different mm -hmm. routes you could take. That. Let's see if he does. I fuck with Pokey, but of course. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. My uh, searing. Pussy. <laughs> searing. Just pointing it out again. <laughs> you have a picture of Pokemon. I just want to say it's there. I like her. Yeah, Dope picture, bro. Her, yeah. <laughs> Is that I a like face Pokemon, logo? And I like, and I see that you do too. So. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot in common, bro. <laughs> Think we could be dogs. Damn. Is that a face Thing logo? I fuck with banks. Yo, I like banks, bro. <laughs> Damn, I don't give a fuck. This, bro. My thing is this, bro. Stay in your own lane. Stay in your own fucking lane. Okay. Why do people always tell other people to stay in their lane or the big pieces of shit that don't want anyone <laughs> criticizing them? <laughs> right. Yeah, it would be nice for you if everybody stayed in their own lane, quote, unquote, whatever that means. You know? Pussy! I don't know who you are. You know who I am. Cool. H3, I know who you are. Um, I really don't got an issue with you, bro. I think you're just too old to oh. just Oh, he just hates love. Yeah, he just hates me. <laughs> it's just love specifically. <laughs> oh, okay, he's cool. Never okay. mind. I take it all back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he was talking shit on me. Just, just me. No. I think. I wonder if like me saying my age kind of triggered him. He's like, oh, he's on my playing field. He, he doesn't really want to fuck with people like, older than him, who mm -hmm. might have more experience and like uh, be able to fuck him up in a debate or whatever. But oh, this guy's twenty-one, the same age as me. No. That, that might have triggered something in, mm. within him, you know. To be fair, my son's uh, vocal ABC book could beat him in a debate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he's just afraid of cowboys. Cowboy mm. phobia. Yeah. Cowbobia. Yee! <laughs> well, yeah. Um, I really don't got an issue with you, bro. I think you're just too old to just be hating it. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Leaked footage of Nini and his girl. Yeah. That could be that could be true. It could be too old to be hating. It's fine. Ain't gonna stop me though. Pussy. <laughs> what is this you sent, Ian? Oh no, Aiden Ross owning H three. Oh, get ready to get owned, dude. Oh, Are you ready? Oh, no, it's a tick. Wait, is that a store a uh, real or? It's a short. Oh, it's a short. H three three. You the worst podcast on YouTube, bro. <laughs> 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 you have the worst podcast on YouTube, bro. You hate your life, bro. You literally hate your life. All you do is hate on other people and put them. Wait, where's this from? I didn't. Is this this is this is juicy? This is fire. Is this from the same stream? Uh, I'm not sure. I saw it on Reddit. Hmm. Down. When look at your own podcast, it's horrible. Nobody watches it. It's boring. How I watch. You I say to... nobody watch. Like if you're gonna insult me, at least like try harder. You can't say nobody watches it. That's just like, I mean, it's just not true. You can't just say so. It's like, come on. People, number 12 podcast in the world. Hello. 
Hello? 12? Hello? Aiden! Go to your fucking room and put on a bed sheet. H33. I'm putting it on. I fell asleep on God. On my life, bro. Your shit sucks, bro. It sucks. Get some new guests on. Get some fucking bitches on that shit. You need something. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a lot, you guys. We should really get some bitches on this. We need yeah, some bitches for real. on this. He's spitting facts. <laughs> Yo, you know what we need? Bitches. It's a bitches at a kitchen. <laughs> yeah. We need some hoes up in here. Have you uh, tried eating your boogers too? I don't. Yeah. Think we've done mm. that. that could be. Yeah. That that's a bitches. good suggestion. Bitches. Bitches. <laughs> Pussy. And on there, I don't even know, bro. You like <laughs> retire, bro? At this point, just fucking retire. You suck. Your ass. You hate your life. Oh my God. Twenty one. Fuck you. H three three. You have. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> I think Aiden learned because oh, we gave him God. a little leeway because we go, well, he's young and I was dumb at that age. I think he's leaning into that too far now to be like, I'm 21, bro. Cool. 21. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, and you will be forever, Aiden. What happened to the nice mm -hmm. Jewish H3, good boy you have Aiden Ross from Florida? On YouTube, bro. You hate your life. Oh, yeah. Ross is H3, a Jewish. You have the worst I don't think he's Jewish. I could be, he could be. I, I, he is Jew on Jew cr hate crimes. Bro. I think he's Jewish. Not yeah. a, not a plus, plus laugh for this. Google it. Yeah, he's, uh, he is Jewish. He was yeah. oh. It was, I mean, come on, you know, he's a good Jewish boy from Florida. You know what? I think it's nice though that he's doing some Jewish representation in popular media. So many people hate Jews today. That um, he's doing, he's 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 good. He's out there. Just stop with this, you know. We also have some, there's also bad Jews, like Harvey Weinstein, and we're trying to separate from that kind of shit. Shout out to the, uh... Woody Allen Jewish? He's Jewish, yeah. yeah that's the He's problem. the most Jewish. Shout that out was, to the, yeah. the good tribe, <laughs> that, That's not good. The good tribe. A good not part good. of the tribe. We don't want them. Pussy? Pussy? There you have it. I am roasted. <laughs> Owned, next. Roasted, owned, owned, and eviscerated by Elsa young. And well, love really took the brunt of that. So yeah, it took it took a major L today, right? Super sorry about shit. that. Talk shit about my back. I let's just do far. My oh, you know our new bestie, friend of the show, Mike Malak, actually did a really good roast on um, Aiden. Place I would have smoked crack. I'm not even playing. <laughs> I'm not. I'm dead fucking serious. Yeah, he says his room looks like a place where he'd smoke crack. And what's funny about that is that it was even dirt. It's way messier than the one you have, love. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, is this one of the bitches? Sorry. His words, not mine. She looks beautiful and kind. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Bitches. Bitches and boogers. <laughs> bitches and boogers. That's how you get the views, baby. That's a fire. That's a good title, love. That's fire. Actually, now we can end on a high note. I want to talk about Alex Jones. We could do it on Wednesday. It's just so good. Sure. It's a whole juicy thing. And we're coming up on a, probably three hours now, but we got to celebrate our new best friend, Ninja. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what are, we, what are we... Now, I don't know if you guys heard, but you guys were standing Ninja pretty hard on Twitter, and then he reciprocated by sending a shitload of G Fuel, and not only, we got rare G Fuel too, didn't we? Yeah. We got like carbonated ninja flavor canned G Fuel, hello? Yeah, that good. Can I get, actually, can I get my own can? I want to smash that right now. You don't want to drink it out of a... I'll do both. Okay. I'll do both. Sam is uh, our sommelier. <laughs> our G Fuel, our G -Fuel sommelier. sommelier for the day. Sam Temple, thank you for the gifted sub. Sam Temple. Thank you, uh, yeah. Let me taste I'm it. So vintage. Vintage. Let me taste it and make sure it's it's good vintage before you go. Fermented enough. You seen wine people? They're so funny. They get their they literally do this. Yeah, that's the how you have, swirl. You have to, yeah, it's part of the experience. Wait, before we drink this, do we have approval? Oh, let me taste it first. What? I, wait, do we have approval though? We don't I necessarily need... have permission. Wait, what? From oh, from Kim? 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 Yeah, Star. right. Because flavor. The, the, the bubblegum flavor. Cotton candy. <laughs> oh my God, that is such a fine vintage. 
Sam, you can you can keep pouring. Thank you. We'll, oh we'll, my we'll, god! We'll accept the bottle. That tastes like heaven. Very man. good. Very Does good. it taste even better because Ninja's name is attached? <laughs> yeah, right. I got to do that. Got to do a little. You got to spit it out too. Mm. That's what the smallies do. Right. <laughs> I'm. I know I'm like a hater. It's my thing, but I don't get the wine thing. I've tried. I want to get into it. I've tried expensive bottles, which are cheap bottles. You're just bottles. saying you don't like wine in general. No, I like wine, but I'm oh. saying that it's all. It's just I don't believe in this whole thing. They taste. How do you taste wine and say it's nutty and fruity and earthy? It's like bitch. It's a grape. Too much wine. It's a grape. Yeah. You know what wine's made of? A grape. Too much wine. Sorry. All I could say is I've seen those videos where people are blindfolded and they're able to name like ten bottles in a row. Crazy. So like, I believe that's true. there is like. A difference that yeah, some, some people, people do that with Coors Light and Bud Light and shit like that. <laughs> right, exactly. I just know that I like it sour and a little bit sweet. Hmm. There it is. There it is. You're my sommelier. Cheers. For real. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> hey, Ian, show off your um Tumblr. Oh Jeez. wow. Ninja Tumblr, man. Thank you so much, Sam. Is that the metallic yes. one? Let's your one sub. Uh, not the metallic. They okay. sent us three different tumblers. Yes, yeah, so. This is apparently pretty rare. It's bottled and it has carbonation. Really good stuff. So the thing, actually what's interesting about this, yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, but Keemstar had the cotton candy one. Mm -hmm. And then Ninja got the cotton candy one years after Keemstar uh, was booted out of G Fuel for being a menace. And then he got mad at Ninja for not asking permission. Here, but anyway, we'll get to that. Here's the unboxing. What we got here? Nina, Nina, Nina. Cam, how do you feel about the Gifu? I'm so stoked. I can't wait to drink it. I'm going to slam 10 of them at once. Gifu? Of all the Gifu. And then Banks is feeling himself. Lo mm. Sword love over here. Is up? Is up? Here we go. Nina, Nina. Let's go. Man. The Ninja G Fuel comes today. It's gonna get there before I get there. They're gonna open it and I'll have this awesome bonding experience and I'm not gonna be there because of traffic yep. in this damn city. The fuck, Nina! baby. Is this one also? Yeah. Let's it's all G Fuel? All G Fuel. G Fuel? Just too much. Oh! Look at that. Yeah, Yo, they hooked it up fast. More Nina. You get a Nina. You get a Nina. Wow, that's a lot of G Fuel. Just watch this. Tastes like absolute shit. Shut the Shut fuck, fuck up, up. King. You need to leave. Time <laughs> sauce, bro. We got snow cone. Do you feel bad? We yes. got samplers. What else we got? Oh! There it is. Oh! The Holy Grail. Oh, I'm gonna wear this. Let's go. Yes, let's, let's go. go. Thank you, Nina, for this bountiful victory royale. Mm -hmm. This is an epic chug jug moment. Chug jug. Chug, chug. And we appreciate you, and we will be celebrating in your honor. Thank you. Dude. Oh, Nina, 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 Nina. You're a fucking Nina, loser. Nina, 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 Nina. I missed it. Oh. Damn. Get fucked. Owned next. Um, man. so that's pretty special. I mean, you guys must be feeling really, really, uh, warm. I mean, incredibly I gifted, take, taken touched. care of. Yeah. Ninja personally arranged this. Sure did. I think the I'm honestly kind of sad. Yeah. Love feels I like feel that. like, you know, I'm, can, I'm we can send you some ex extraordinaire. I feel a little bit left out here. Wait, G -fuel. wait, we can send you some. You want this? Well, I don't want to cut into your guys' profit. I was thinking maybe G Fuel could. You know, sponsor you know us. I mean? yeah. He's just trying to get his own. He's just trying to get a shit. Oh, you want your own? Yeah. Yeah. No, he I'm not sponsor. Shit, I, I just want some, want some my own juice, you know. Oh, you want them juice, to you know? send you your own personal pack? Maybe. Yeah. Why Why do you get your own pack? He's worth, he's well, he's the true G Fuel head among all. Show of the us. closet. Bro, that shit's nuts. Love has like a G Fuel I supply. have everything, bro. Love yeah. introduced the G Fuel meta to the office, too. You know. I, I've been juicing. I probably spent a uh, thought. I thought we on G Fuel. Damn. Yeah. 
He's you also do the deserve reason, your own pack. He's also the reason we all pronounce it Gee Fuel or Nina, yep. like in a Swedish accent. Wait, we should send yeah. him some cans. Can we do that? From International? I don't From our stash? Yeah. No, no. A see, I don't want. I don't want to make create this. Dan dynamic. doesn't want to give them up. No, I don't I, want to create this dynamic for like, ju like stealing from your guys' juice. Yes, thank you. I was He's maybe entitled could, to it. He's part of the crew. I was thinking maybe we could get reduced, right? We yeah. could try and say, hey, yo, we actually have a guy in Sweden. I know it was nice that you got you sent us that package and all, but can you please send another package to Sweden? Look how much brand awareness right. we're giving them right now. You know. Love, this is for you. They Here's should be paying us, frankly. Thank you, camera. The gifted... They should be paying us. Take I can try gifted. to send some, but I don't know if it will clear customs. Yeah, because they're very strict. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I've tried to send love stuff like that before, and they took it out of the box. Yeah, I don't, yeah they I... cut that shit open last time. Can't do it. What about if we send you powder? Do we get any powder? Mm. They sent us powder, no, but not the I've... ninja flavor. I've had all the powder you guys got. I tried that. Okay, player. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dan, you got on Fortnite too, man. The whole ninja phenomenon has oh, really taken off. Dan refused to get the ninja skin, by the way. I knew that was him. Why didn't you get the ninja skin, Dan? Well, I just downloaded the game, so I'm not Fortnite. trying to drop a bunch of money no on excuse. skins. But also, aren't they like limited time? Like, yeah, I don't think rare. I could have gotten it if I wanted to. It's rare. It's all right. I felt well taken care of. I was being protected by a squad of ninjas. Yeah, the Blevins Brotherhood rolled in, and we had your back. I can't see if I'm see myself or not. Yeah, we just missed that whole dance. Go oh, again. Oh! 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 Hey, no, not that one. <laughs> Turn that off. <laughs> Did that ruin it for you? Uh, that angle? <laughs> oh, man. Well, anyway, listen, we're... Our heart goes out to Keemstar. We know that the cotton candy is his flavor. And uh, Ninja did not ever ask for permission. So we, he's gonna be uh, even more. He, he's gonna be even more upset when he sees what Ninja can't, just came out with. Yeah, well, Ninja says said a big f you to Keemstar. We actually have a new trailer for his flavor. All right. Go ahead. It's Roll exclusive. it. Exclusive. Cam Grant, sing with everyone's up, dude. Give a shout out to my family, Ethan, A.B., Cam, Dan, H Gila, Ian, Lena, Olivia, Sam, Zach, Young Fika, thank you for the three gifted, bro. A.B. Stock, Killer, thank you for the prime. Ethan Klein, thank you for the $5 dono. Thank you for the gifted fan from H3. Thank you for the two, what's up, dude? Sam Temple, thank you for the gifted sub. The official energy drink of Ninja. Wow. Wow, that, that was good. Fire. That was good, actually. I was super invent uh, creative. Yeah. Good job, Cam. I mean, Ninja. Ninja. No, those, those G Fuel marketing team. Right there. Yeah, shout out to the G Fuel marketing team. Woo! Is there a lot of people playing as Ninja in Fortnite with that skin? It's pretty rare. Only the best. Yeah, it's very rare. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Ninja plays as Ninja. He does. He does. No. Okay, good. Good. Thank you for the I'm not as good if I play with other skins, actually. <laughs> I have actually to. True. I have to stay on Nina skin. Yeah. When when we were playing with Dan, we got. Four dubs in a row. It's true. Is that right? Yeah. Four yeah. in a row. Your team won? That's a lot. That's like pretty, pretty I don't want to. Go ahead. Do it, do it. Speak your mind. Go the, ahead. The game's for babies. Go on it's a little, it's a little, night. it's a little baby game. It's very easy to win. You win all the time. I kept telling them, I'm going to download the game. I'm going to immediately win. And they kept saying, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Guess what happened? My very first game. Did he carry? Solo. Because you were playing bots, Dan. Doesn't hey, matter. Dan. I got the dub. you were playing bots? Dan, let me ask you yeah. something. Well, that's what they say. I don't know if that's true. Dan, what did you tell me this morning? That <laughs> yesterday, when you're playing on your own without the ninja skin, did you get any dubs? Or... I got lots of did limbs. You get, no, no, no. Did you get any number yeah, one victory? Yeah, I did. I got okay, a victory royale, yeah. Okay, wait. Shit. Never mind. Did wait. he have a... Did he carry the team? Do you have a good kill-death ratio? I don't think I carried. 
Love, love is a big juicer, so he was he was probably the number one on Listen, the team. But Ian, Dan, I held my own. Dan's a gamer. I held my own. Ian is also. I'm a gamer. It's a game for babies. It's everybody who's playing is nine years old and on an iPad. It's like it's not it's not that difficult to win. Did yeah, I wish you I'm could saying. see the faces of your opponents? It's just a bunch of like five year olds <laughs> in your fucking face. <laughs> Yeah, you heard it from Dan. Fortnite is a game for babies. Dan and that's fine. I mean, babies need games too, you know? But, I mean, it is a, it's for babies. Sam, thoughts? I'm disgusted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm, Dan, you better be winning every single game if you think it's for babies. I mean, some babies are good at video games. Well, he will be for a while because it's guild based I know, because you're in bot mode right now. Well, I'm climbing the ladder Wait, quick. is he playing Don't bots? Worry. Yeah. Yeah, when you first start out, you're playing bots. Bro, what the fuck? I you're wasn't... bragging about winning against bots? Well, first of all, I didn't know that. Baby. Second okay, of all, we'll take a step back. But second of all, I wasn't, <laughs> reset. I wasn't playing against bots when I played yesterday, and I was juicing, boy. Hey, Dan. You played with Baby. them. No, but I played again yesterday by myself, and I was juicing. Against bots. Like it wasn't bots. Thing? That's what I'm saying. I graduated out of the bot okay, okay, mode. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Baby. I, I graduated from bots to six-year-olds. <laughs> I haven't played with Dan yet. The bots are probably yet. better. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll have to see for myself. I haven't played with Dan yet. Let's see. <laughs> well, yeah. you know what? You guys play together and then give me a report. Okay. I'll give you a report. Ethan, when, when are we going to get you in, dude? You know what? I kind of want to try it Let's now. Let's fucking go, Try it dude. out. You guys play on PC? Yeah, it's cross platform. Cross -play, well, it's cross platform, yeah. What do you guys play on? Me and PC. Love are on PC. Can't or were you on PC too? I was Ken? on PC. Okay, I think just Ian plays on console. Sam, you play PC? And Sam? No, PS5. Oh, how do you play? I don't understand. How can you play the same game on PS5 and PC? They give you a bunch of aim assist on oh, well, console. That's... Yeah, because I mean, the keyboard it, it... and mouse is way, way better. Yeah, but it, it balances out pretty fair. They've kind of figured that out. A lot of FPSs do cross-platform now, and it, it's, not really a, it's not really a problem. Yeah, It's not a problem bot? for... It feels like aimbot? Well, it's, it's, just, not a it's not aimbot, <laughs> but it, it just does some, some degree of aim assist. But that used to be like taboo to let them cross-pollinate, but all, all of the games do it now, and it, it honestly seems fine. Interesting. What were you saying, love? I said it's not a problem for like low casual players, but when you get up for the pros, they like swap to a controller when they have a sniper. <laughs> and, oh, like, really? They use both. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, some of them use both. I've heard. Yeah, so they're what? like super sweaty. That seems like a whole thing. I gotta you say, know. Dan is really good at Fortnite, though. I'm definitely by far the worst in the office. Damn, sorry. We don't hold that against you, Cam. No, not, yeah. no don't be so hard on you. I don't even you're good. I don't even know the difference between a between a keg and a chug jug and a yeah, but you and guys, a book <laughs> bomb. You guys are always <laughs> reviving me. I'm I'm just I'm we there for the ride. You're good, Cam. I'm just there to stop. dance when you guys kill people. You're a gamer. Stop, stop. Don't be so hard on yourself. Well, I play better when I play with uh, kind people, Cam. So oh, I, well, you, I'm always there to cheerlead for you. Yeah, that's true. All right. Oh, people want us to play a member stream. That's funny. <laughs> Fortnite member stream. That'd Download be kind of it on fire. Your Let's go. Let's get it going. Let's juice. Let me try it though. I'll try it in the next uh, next couple of weeks here. Let's anyway, go. that's the show. Um, I hope you guys had fun. We are expecting an apology from Dave, right? Dave Fortnoy. It's not coming. I mean, we. <laughs> and well, we proved that. We 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 gave the receipts. The evidence is all there. Dave, what's an apology? You're getting strike two. That's what you're getting. That's crazy, bro. Oh, apologizing. Whoa. And then Keemstar, get off my. Can I say get off my dick to Keemstar? Just. Probably not. No, no. You're well. a dick rider. You're a dick sucker. Hop off my fucking dick. <laughs> I'm 21. See? Fuck you. Maybe I'll just say hi, Keem. That's my favorite. Maybe, <laughs> that is a soundbite. I'm I'll, 21. Fuck you. Maybe I'll just say hi, Keemstar. Thanks for watching. I'm also waiting for an apology from Aiden, of course. That's true. We need to apologize. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah should, I'll have a little bit of uh, my own, uh, you know, friendship tour, maybe. They're not going Aiden. to. Yeah, because I want to bury the hatchet, but it, they, these people are making it hard on me. Yeah. We still can be friends, Aiden and Dave. There's a, there's a friendship potential road, but uh, it's going to take some time.
Yeah, for sure. And uh, shout out Code Keem on TeddyFresh.com. Does not work. Thanks to Hila. 0% off. 0% off. <laughs> Code Keem for 0% off. Well, we'll be back on Wednesday. Yes, we will. And we got Wednesday, the shots. We, we have a lot of fun stuff, even still. The Alex Jones stuff is just incredible, you guys. I mean, it's so good. Yeah, and we'll uh, actually, speaking of pork, pork boy, um, we saw right before the show, but haven't oh, had a shit, chance yeah. to uh, look into it. But just a little teaser and some breaking Thanks. news. Thank yes. you, Zach. Is uh, he posted on his uh, Instagram story that he was served papers for a lawsuit related to Safe Moon? Yes. And he actually shows that um, it was Keemstar, Daniel Keem, was also oh my god uh, listed on that lawsuit, as well as some other people. So everybody who was involved in Safe Moon going to the moon is. Uh, Wait, hold on. I've got to go. Safe Moon's going to the moon, baby. I wait. I totally forgot. Yeah, this broke right when we started. So Keemstar is now being sued twice, once by the Safe Moon shit, and the other one by Deaf Noodles. Uh, I was woken up today at 8 a.m. by this guy knocking on my door for 10 minutes straight. My dog was going crazy. I thought my house was on fire. I told him to wait so I could get my phone and document it. Dude, you got served. I just bought 39 million Damn, shares wait, wait, of wait, 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 wait. Moon. Why is he blasting this guy? He's just a fucking... He's just, he just serving the papers. Yeah, it's uh, not really his fault. <laughs> yeah, I mean... He's just doing messenger. his job. The cliche messenger. Yeah, exactly. Literally shooting the messenger. Oh, you're a process server? Yo, process these nuts. Yo. Nope, he was just telling me I was getting sued for shilling safe moon. That's so awesome. Wait, did Dave shill safe moon? I don't remember Dave being involved. He probably did one of those tweets. I, I, I don't know, but I feel like so many people did those. <laughs> Yo, I love how much he's putting out there, though. I mean, shout the fuck out that he put in. AB streaming? Competing. My response? <laughs> Trying to go to war. He said oh the God. show didn't even end, and he's already streaming? Well, it says starting soon, to be fair. Mm. Shameless. <laughs> My response. Whoa. The title. Response. Oh, do we think it's uh, in reference to the Reddit post? That's wait, what I mean. Wait, what Reddit post? What we talked about with him oh, uh, yeah. earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the response to your... What do you need to respond to? Everyone said you're funny. They're just shitting on me, bro. <laughs> what do you need to respond to? <laughs> <laughs> Clout God, somebody says. It's true. We got that clickbait. Maybe the Cloud Goblin? No, not not Cloud Goblin. Cloud God. Dude, your, <laughs> here's your response. Raise your voice a little bit. That's it. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Enough of that, Dan. Okay. So, um, here's the lawsuit. Can we, Is this a person that we know? Christopher... This motherfucker's name is Rakaukis? Uh Christopher... Rakaukis. Well, I imagine it's somebody who felt victimized by the whole Safe Moon pump and dump, and they're probably suing a bunch of influencers First that Safe Moon uh, they allege AI science uh, promoted it. Whoa. Mass oh, MIT. What are you reading? An internet software person. Oh, 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 you found the name. Christopher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're suing Safe Moon and Dave. Uh-uh. This is crazy. Mark. So right there, look at the co-defendants. Last name on the list. This is the... Where, yeah, right there. Okay. SafeMoon LLC, SafeMoon US, SafeMoon Connect. There's a bigger image, the next one in the gallery. Oh, okay, thank you. Damn, how many companies SafeMoon have? So sketch. They have like eight different fucking corps. <laughs> Who's, do we know who any of these other people are? Brayden John Caroni. Jack fucking Haynes Davies. I don't know who these people are. That one. Jake Paul's on here. Dave Portnoy. And Daniel Keem, my man. You know what's crazy? When, that I, when I type the name Jack Haynes Davies into Google, the, the first... Uh... Google results is like a 
scam alert website. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Offshore alert. Class action lawsuit. Fraud. Um, Oops. So this is real interesting. The, what's funny about this is even if it's like a total bullshit lawsuit, Keemstar still has to respond. He still has to pay a lawyer and shit. That's the crazy thing. Keep in mind, I bought 40k of Safe Moon myself and haven't sold a penny. It's worth this now. 39 million Wait, shares. Wait, I'm surprised it's worth that much still. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thought it'd be worth zero. Yeah. It's still around. Safe Moon. Dude, he, uh, look, wait. Okay, so he has five million? That's nothing. He only has five million Safe Moon? Those are rookie numbers, bro. My buddy has like a hundred million. I mean, he is down ninety-five percent. <laughs> that crypto ran the shit. Number, so ninety-one uh, percent. Well, this is very interesting. I, I'm curious to see where this goes. Keep in mind, I was never paid a nickel to promote Safe Moon. I told people it could be a scam when I invested. I love to see the video they play in court. I believe Dave. I don't think he ever promoted this shit. Keemstar, on the other hand, I'm not so sure about. I'm no lawyer, but it seems tough to blame me when the first time I mentioned it was May 17, and a video that said, invest to your own risk. I have no idea how this works. Yeah. Fair I'm, enough. He'll probably be fine. He'll be, yeah, totally fine. But, but it's hard to, I don't, I think this is an improper joinder, which is what CavCav tried to do to me. In that the was what it reminded me of when I saw the, how long of a list of names are there. It like, seems. To join Weird. this many people together, you have to prove that that they're like in conspiracy together or something. I think, and there's no way that that yeah, this is all those parties are working together. Yeah, so yeah. they're gonna have to. They're probably gonna, someone's gonna get an attorney to get this thrown out for improper jointer. Somebody said y'all are narcs, dude. He posted this on his own Instagram. Wait, why are we narking? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, maybe they were talking about AB. Because the chat did kind of narc on him. That was oh, what, what were they about. saying about Well, they AB? were all, there was a bunch of people saying AB just went live on Twitch. Funny. Little clouty boy, though. Y'all are narcs. Y'all about to get AB fired, you snitches. No, AB no. just texted us, dude, I legit waited for you guys to say goodbye before I started my stream. <laughs> <laughs> you know how this shit works. You work here. <laughs> Ain't nobody say goodbye. <laughs> But goodbye so, doesn't mean goodbye here. Yeah. So true. So you see that title card. Yeah, you have to see if there's still an hour left sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is going to get thrown out. And then if they want to sue, they have to sue each person individually, which is going to cost a lot more time and money. So we'll see if they refile it against these people. Yeah. But this is this is a pretty shitty document. But there you have it. Shout the fuck out. Safe moon going to the moon, baby. All right. Well, that is it now. A B. The show is officially done. Apparently, he turned his stream off again. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> um. And uh, there you have it. So we'll see you guys on Wednesday. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Ta-ta. Love ya. See you on Wednesday. Hasta la vista, motherfucker!